that going? Got that going? Doesn't matter, no matter how many times. Change a character, change the title, change a picture. I always feel like I forgot something. Especially when the sun's shining. It's like something really feels wrong, but you know, it's daytime, so stuff kind of happens. Oh, at least I shaved. Because yeah. <laughs> I usually don't do that on Saturdays. So we're just sitting here, enjoying our coffee, waiting on the Twitch. There's the Twitch. That was a little fast this time. So hello, everyone. It is Saturday. I know I usually don't stream on Saturdays. Um, August 5th, 2017. I'm going to double check that. Yeah, August 5th, 2017. I'm Dent. That's Dent. We're still playing Final Fantasy XI online. That's a... Uh, his old level 75 outfit. <laughs> uh, those are good old days. He's not on Monk today. Today we got him on Geomancer. And um, I'll just take a look at all his spells real quick here. He's he's gimpy. He's very, very, very gimpy. All he has are the indie spells. Um, no uh, Geo spells. And I've been wanting to kind of do something with Geomancer with them. I actually been wanting to do anything with them because even though they improved Monk this week, it's still not good enough. There are better jobs and there are other things we can do with them. So, Geomancer. I don't understand it. I leveled it to 99 three times now on three different characters. And it's kind, I, I guess the best way I can describe it with what little knowledge I have is it's kind of like Bard, except with uh, some black mage tossed in. And that's a very, very, not a very good representation of it, but they, they have bubbles. They cast a spell, it creates a bubble either around them, around uh, another player, or I think around another uh, bad guy. And these could be have beneficial effects for the party members, um, negative effects for the bad guys, stuff like that. Skill has a lot to do with it. They had to gimp, if you can call it that, uh, Geomancer a few months back because I guess Bard wasn't getting enough love and they kind of boosted Bard a little bit. But Reservoir Location, so there are two kind of spells. There's the Indie spells which you cast on yourself and then there's the Geo spells which you cast on something else. I think you have to have like a uh, Luo Pond and that's going into more detail than what I really understand. Um, but to learn them, to learn the geo spells, you have to actually travel the world, find what they call a geomantic reservoir, and then start praying. And then eventually there'll be this uh, little exclamation point that pops over your head. You click uh, your button, and bam, you learn it. And you go on to the next one. Um, I've done a couple videos, I think, of the different locations, but I had always, always had a couple of the geo spells already, so I didn't have a complete list. Dentral's going to be my uh, attempt at uh, getting a complete list. So before you can learn the uh, Geo spell, you have to know the Indie spell, and you can buy that off the Auction House. And I would suggest checking the Auction House first, see what they have available, because you can usually get them cheaper. And if you're on a small server like Quetzalcoatl, then there's a good chance that not all the spells are going to be available, because people don't use the uh, Auction Houses anymore. It's okay. Square Enix was ready for this. They have NPCs that sell all the indie spells, but at jacked up prices. And that's what we're gonna do right here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, purchase the few that we still do not have. 52k for indie acumen, 53k for indie strength, 83k for indie slip, and 103,000 40 gil indie paralysis. And you see the prices just keep going up. Indie Haste, Indie Fade, 700k, 700k. You could probably get those off the auction house for like 10 to 20k. Dependent upon your servers. Robin Cat! Long time. Happy Saturday! <laughs> Alright, so not too much to do. Like I said, Dentral's gimpy. His gear, not so good. Um, His spell skills. Horrendous. He was my friend first black page to level 50 because we needed that for uh you know back in the what were the level cap days chains of Hermathia, all that stuff we had to sleep a dragon cast a freeze on it over and over again but really i just wanted to do monk on him and that's kind of what i've been doing 
Uh, say look here, Geomancy spell skill 300, Henbill 302, that's that's quite a bit higher than I thought it was going to be. I thought he was going to be like in the hundreds and such, but not so bad. Gear-wise, in case you're interested, um, for a back piece, this is just the capacity point. This is the best one he's gotten, 32% capacity points. Also, magic attack bonus plus 4. Um, I don't know if that's good, but for this, it's probably not so bad. I guess if you wanted to nuke. Uh, Salir Belt. I think I picked this up for Black Mage because of the uh, magic accuracy and the attack bonus and has MP on it, so yeah. Uh, Jock Reslops, normal quality. I, I want. I need to get him the plus ones this month. Um, Jock Re Pigotches, plus one. Jock Re Ring. Uh, enhances fast cast if you're wearing, you know, I guess the set. Metamorph Ring, uh, not the plus one, this is just the regular one. Converts 50 HP to MP and Unity Raking Magic Accuracy 1 to 5. I think this was the one that drops off the uh, Unity Notorious Monster for Circuit, I think. I don't remember. Uh, Jockery Cuffs plus 1. Weapon Skill Damage plus 5%. He's not going to be weapon skilling. Oh, he probably won't be. No, he will actually if we have to fight something because trust in PCs. Have to activate him. Jockery Robe, also normal quality. Another piece I want to upgrade. Jockery Cornel plus 1. It's like. Dent does some um, ambuscade, he just doesn't do a lot of ambuscade. This is the piece that I like the least. Ives Metal, only Intelligence plus I, plus 6, mine plus 6. I think I use it on my Black Mage for the uh, plus ice for the uh, and water for the darkness magic bursting. Um, this one I always mispronounce. Frio Misi Earring. Magic attack bonus plus 10, enmity plus 2, balances it out I suppose, um, I, just for the magic attack bonus. And then the luminous earring increases magic skill gain rate, because his skills aren't capped. Handbell is an eminent handbell. Uh, clear a sea strap, not the plus 1, just a normal quality. Magic accuracy plus 10, fast cast plus 2, and then finally a contemplator, normal quality. Um, MP recovered while healing plus 15, unity ranking, refresh plus 1. This is the one that drops off the, uh, oh, I don't remember the name of the, uh, UNM. The big one, the final one, the one that's kind of difficult. It's got a name. Something curator. Curator something. Yeah, it sits in a chair. Um, Dent got it from the, uh, Gobby Box, so that's what he's doing with it. And I think I already learned all those spell scrolls. Yes, I did that. So, let's get started. Um, I'll just go ahead and read what BG Wiki has says for the uh, Geomantic Reservoirs. Geomantic Reservoirs are spots, spots, spots located around Venadil with ge which Geomancers can learn Geocolor spells. A Geocolor spell can be learned only after the corresponding Indie Color spell has been learned. And the Geomancer's level is at least four levels above the Indicolor spell's level. For example, a Geomancer can learn Geopoison at the Reservoir in East Runfar at level 5 or above, as long as they already have learned Indipoison, a level 1 spell, by using the corresponding scroll. Note, while learning the spell, after the message, the arcane energies begin to course within your veins appears, do not immediately accept the next line, which is a blank line. If you wait, while on the blank line until a double question mark appears over your character's head and immediately move on to the next dialogue line, you will receive a guaranteed Geomancy skill up after learning the spell. Your reaction time will determine the amount of skill up, up to 0.9 with a near instant reaction. This can be performed once per reservoir while learning the spells. So, if you want to maximize your skill ups, then probably want to take your computer or your internet connection to Japan, get as close to the Square Enix servers as possible. But uh, we probably won't go above 0.5, maybe 0.6 if we get lucky. So, let's go to Western Adelan. I need to find a uh, home point crystal. So we're headed to Ronfar. Yeah, I know where it was. <laughs> Starting low. But that's the best way. Just start at the beginning, work way till the end, knock it all down. It'll probably take about two, three hours as long as there aren't any uh, complications. Travel to another home point, we're gonna use Sandy, we're gonna do Southern Sandy, the one by the auction house should be closest. Yes, please. Cheers, everybody. 
We're going to be taking full advantages of home point crystals, survival guides, and the like. Actually, I probably want to change my sub job to Black Mage. Because I don't think we're going to be doing this quickly enough. Where, uh, yeah, let's go and do that now. A couple things. Travel to another home point. Let's go and set our location in northern Sandoria by the exit. It's got a survival guide next to it and a home point crystal. So that'll come in handy when we're trying to go from one place to another. And I'll just go ahead and sub Black Mage. I think I have Red Mage subbed right now. Just double check. We're walking all the way to the mock house. All we're doing here is setting our home point. You know, travel to another home point? No, set your home point here. Yes. Check your status. Yeah, I did sub red mage. So I don't have a warp spell. We can fix that. Travel to another home point. Current region. Port Sandy. By the mock house. Yes, please. I should probably go ahead and create a warp macro. You know, I'll just type it out too. Don't always need to make a macro for everything. Unless you have a gamepad. Or you're lazy. Sometimes both. <laughs> yeah. Every time I go up the stairs, the camera's all like, Hey, let's look up at the ceiling, or dense butt. Because it likes doing that, I suppose. Alright, um, Mug House, waiting for it to load. Simply changing jobs. Changing jobs, support job, make it a black mage. Let's go and do our macro, edit macro, Geomancer, confirm. We'll just call this one Warp. Magic, Warp, me. That's it. Ah, dang it. Click the jukebox. Uh, don't change it. <laughs> Let us uh, select an exit too. Let's go Southern Sandoria. We'll run out to East Ronvar. Hop on our trusty uh, octopus, and uh, you'll see. And <laughs> make our way to the river. Now I do have a, a trust macro. There's going to be some areas, especially the ones in Aldolin, that will probably need to clear out the bad guys first. Otherwise, they'll just attack me while I'm trying to learn said spell, and it'll be embarrassing, because he'll try and cast sleep on him, it won't stick, he'll die. He probably won't level down. I think he's got capped XP buffer, right? I'll double check here, just make sure. Yeah. 55,999. 55,999 XP points acting as a buffer. I I really don't know if it's possible to level down anymore. Just for the sheer amount of death and destruction that can be done to a character. And even if you were to home point after every time being killed. I'm sure it's possible, but... It seems like, you know, you accept the res and... You know. It's like, hey, you're still at full points. Well done. Oh well, it used to be a concern a long, long time ago, because players didn't like the idea of uh, wasting what could be considered four merit points worth of experience to, uh, you know, cap out their uh, experience points. And I understand that logic. I mean, four merit points, that was a lot back then. Personally, I just have other things to worry about. It, not too difficult, you just don't switch over to merit points, and wow, this is just odd looking. I don't think I've, yeah, I haven't seen Dentral ride this one yet. I've seen Song do it, and yeah, for those of you that didn't see a face, it's like, yep, there's a little uh, critter from a uh, sea, old Chains of Hermathia area. I think people used to have to farm these things to get something, something, oh shoot. Can't climb over bridges. It's a water type. <laughs> I just gotta dodge some pugils. Come across another waterfall. Actually, I don't remember if it's gonna be. Let's see, it's at I7. We're at I8, so we need to go a little bit north. It's probably this one right here. A little shiny thing. Yeah, that's probably it. 
I just remembered. I have my uh, mount macro set not for a dismount, just the mounting. Copy, paste. Actually, copy. Having problems here. And let's see. Paste. I think you do dismount slash dismount. Wait one. Let's try that. And hopefully, there you go. It's too fast for it to be able to get the next one. All right. So this is the Geomantic Reservoir in um, East Ron Bar. Simply, all you have to do is click it. You are assaulted by an uncanny sensation. He's going to start kneeling. The arcane energies begin to course within your veins. Click the button once. Here's where you're supposed to click it again. Wait until you see exclamation point. You feel a mystical warmth welling up inside you. Point three. <laughs> There's the first one, Geopoison. So, yay. Next stop, Tarongi Canyon. That's what we're basically going to keep doing. Just go to the zone, find the thingy, click it. Hit the warp button. I think I got some auto refresh on me. If not, then I'm not going to worry too much about it. All right, so we're going to use a survival guide for this one. We're going to do teleportation assistance. And then we're going to go original release areas. I'm pretty sure Tarungi's on the next page. There it is. And up, up, and away. <laughs> I forget how many spells there are total. I'm sure somebody can count. I'm sure I could count. They're like right here off to my side, but I'm not that worried about. All right, so the Tarangi Canyon one is going to be real close to the crag of um, Mia. Is it Mia? I think it's Mia. Crag of Mia. Definitely not Hala. And I want to say Dem is the one by Bastok. Let's see. Yeah, Mia. It's just a little to the south of it. Those of y'all that way back in the day when we were farming uh, wind crystals or the elementals that dropped them, Tarangi Canyon was... Uh, yeah, it's me. Thank you, Justin Nolan's. And happy Saturday. Um, there was this one little spot, just a little south, a little alcove that they would always seem to uh, show up in. I think, I don't think the Earth Elemental showed up there as well, but it was like windy. You'd go over there, check it out, kill it, get some at least one stack of wind crystals, hopefully several. And this was back when the clusters of, uh, I don't think the clusters are stacked back then. They might have? Maybe they didn't? I don't know. Dang, I can't remember. I want to say they didn't. Because it was like, there wasn't too much, uh, to be gained from, uh, holding on to the clusters or, oh, shoot. Who knows? The wind weather just died. It's been years since I played. <laughs> you should come back, if just for a month. Check it out. See if you like everything. I never knew cluster stack. Let's see. Yeah. Um. I don't think I have any on me right now. No, I don't have any on me right now. But a lot of stuff stacks now that didn't stack before. Yagudo necklaces. They now stack. Uh. Or remember when you used to like farm. I think I clicked it too soon. That's what I get for uh, talking, not paying attention. Yay, no skill up. That's okay. Warp button. Um, ores stack. You go to necklaces stack. Lots of stuff stacks. Um, beds. Beds don't stack. I don't know <laughs> why they would, but uh, the fun times. Anyway, so that was the one for uh, Geo Voidance. Next one's going to be Precision, Constant Highlands. The only clue that the guide gives you is surrounded by three boulders. So, teleportation, original release. We're looking for. Oh dear. Wouldn't be surprised if there's some of these that he doesn't have. Jugner, Gooskin, Ordell's. Constant Highlands, there we go. 
I'm hoping away. Den used to be my main character. He's not anymore. Um, and then when they added all this fast teleportation stuff, I never bothered to go pick it up on him. I was like, yeah, we'll go get it some other day. And that's how that basically happened. Of course, with the uh, population being as low as it is now, you can sometimes find old notorious monsters that will always be camped. Just walking around like a regular mob now. Uh, let's do search area. We'll do all areas. 335 people. That's average. This isn't prime time for uh, North America, but it would be like, I guess, about 2 o'clock in the morning in Japan, so most of the Japanese players have probably already called it a day. Most of the North American players are probably out grocery shopping, doing their chores, that kind of stuff, so, you know, quiet kind of day. All right, so three boulders. I don't think that was it. I want to say I remember where it is, but Do we have a location? F slash G6. Okay, so we're at G6. There's what looks like three boulders. There's something shiny in between it. Oh, maybe it's just two boulders. Wait, there's a third one. Aha, this is it. All right, so let's just go and dismount. And let's see if I can not mess this one up. I'll probably mess it up. Because, you know, I'm on Dendril. Dendril's Gimp. You are assaulted by an uncanny sensation. Click once. Wait for it. Wait, wait. The arcane energies begin to course within your veins. Click again. And then this is where you wait for the exclamation point. Or two. You feel a mystical warmth welling up inside you. There we go. Point three. Geo precision. Next stop, Lathene Plateau. This one's gonna be a little difficult. So access via the ramp in H7, then through the tunnel at the bottom to the east. Okay, so we need to head to uh that little uh lake in the north. It's not a lake, it's a pond. <laughs> I wouldn't even really call it a pond. It's more just like a, you know, hole with water in it. We're going to do teleportation of assistance. Original release. Looking for Lathene Plateau. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, up and away. I thought I saw the map for Vulcrum Dunes. I'm like, no, we don't want to go there. Is there one for Vulcrum? There should be one for Vulcrum. That would have been awesome. No way. Game is thinking. Still thinking. Alright, we're gonna run this way. We're gonna hit the mount. It's raining in Lathene. That might mean there's a possibility if the rain stops, there might be a uh, rainbow that pops up. Not that it's a super magical, impressive looking rainbow, but you know, back in the PS2 days, we took whatever little uh, small glimmers of uh, beauty we could get. It's like, wow, look, rainbow. Because <laughs> usually it's all dark and gray and muddy. The misses she used to uh, farm beastman blood in um, what's it called? That one zone, uh, the marshlands, Pashlau, killing leeches. It's always raining there, or thunder weather. Sometimes both. And she says, every now and then, it would stop raining, just for a little bit, and the sun would come out. And you'd be able to see then, and only then, just how beautiful the zone really was. So many colorful flowers, so many little things that, you know, you just never saw. That's the Crag of Hollow. Spent a lot of time in there. COP. That was always, that was the first, um, was it Ramparts? I don't remember. The uh, missions where you had to uh, go into each of them, kill the boss inside. I think that was the one with a thinker. And, <laughs> and shall we say, he just was not easy. Well, 
it was a learning curve. Once we found a working technique that worked with uh, our group, um, we had no problem. Lots of folks always used to swear up and down, you just need to bring three summoners. Bring three summoners. They all use their two-hour ability. You win. That's all you have to do. And I was like, well, we tried that. Don't always work. Or just not always doing it right. Because, well, shoot, a lot of times we were like, hey, I got summoner. Level 30? Yeah, no problem. They have, like, no skill in it because they were able to get to level 30 only because somebody needed a healer for their party. So their healing skill on their white mage is capped as far as white mage is concerned but uh you know it actually came to uh firing off big giant free oh, what was it free it's a big uh mega flare type looking thingy it just didn't do as much damage I'm like oh so sad and then the person that put the party together would yell at everybody for like god you people suck I'm never gonna get this done. And he like logs out. Uh, well, that was a good use of our afternoon. <laughs> Maybe I did that too many times. Probably. All right, so we should be getting close. It's supposed to be at J slash K five. We're at J six. Still headed east. K six should be coming up here in just a little bit, and then we'll just need to go to the north. Yeah, this is it. Oh yeah, this is the one with the bouncy flowers. I'm assuming they're flowers. I don't know if Square Enix ever really explained why it was that they bounce, but... Poor controller. I need to get a new one soon. Here's the Geomantic Reservoir. For those of y'all that, like, where is he? Um, map. There, a little flashing red dot. We're down there. Alright, so, you click it thinking about it you are assaulted by an uncanny sensation the arcane energies begin to course within your veins wait for it you feel a mystical warmth welling up inside you and a geo regen Woot! next stop keep them now you can take the home point to keep a island. You can use a survival guide to go to keep a island. You can even take the home point crystal to uh, Port Juno, and I think they're all pretty much equidistant because, you know, let's keep them. Let's see. We're gonna use a survival guide because we're cheap. <laughs> I'm gonna teleportation. I think I have it. Uh, original release areas. It's probably going to be on the next page. There it is. Keep them island. Up, up, and away. What are we doing on MP? MP looks fine. I'm not worried about MP. Used to be worried about MP. Like, in the old days. Alright, so we're going to mount up. This is going to be in the tunnel. That leads from Juno to, uh... I guess... The rest of the island because you know <laughs> that was the only way to get here was by a tunnel and I was always surprised that the tunnel didn't have more like a uh, dripping happening but that's probably a good thing I suppose <laughs> it's like hey where are we like you're underneath the ocean oh great how many tons of water are above our head pressing down upon this natural cave formation like, yeah, you don't want to know. I'm sure that's one of those things that people try not to think about when they're taking the, uh... They have a tunnel now that, uh, goes from England to France and just goes underneath the channel. I'm talking to somebody from Scotland at the time going, no idea why they thought anybody from England would want to go to France, or vice versa. But, you know, yeah, they went and done it. Kinda reminds me of the uh, tunnel that they had between, um, what was it, in World of Warcraft. It was the Deep Run Tram, that was it, between uh, Iron Forge and, uh, what was the name of the Alliance cities? Stormwind. <sighs> it wasn't an Alliance character, so, you know. We only went there, oh, shoot, that was the only time we used this uh, Deep Run Tram, was to, uh, <laughs> 
we uh, kill the boss or the uh, leader in a uh, storm wind and then we take the tram and take the kill off the boss in a uh, iron forge and then once that was done it was all like hey are there any other boss and like, no we got them all those were the last two it's like hey let's go take out the uh, heroic dummy and we ran that one out of hit points and life was good <laughs> oh shoot I'm not looking at my locations um, we're looking for I-9. We're at I-10, so it should be close. Probably along the next one here. It says, next to the spine in the tunnel near Port Juno. It's probably going to be... Uh, it would have probably been closer to actually go to Port Juno. Just run down the stairs, enter the zone. Because we are pretty freaking close to Juno right now. This is I-10... Really? I-11. So we passed it. Yep. Yeah. Well done, done. <laughs> We're about to zone into uh, Juno. Alright. We'll find it. It's only my third time doing this. And the uh, first two times I really was clueless as to... Um, maybe it's over here? Maybe? <laughs> Probably looking at all the wrong spines. Okay, so this is I-10. When it turns to the north, it's probably going to be up along here. Yeah, now we're at I-9. Just looking for something shiny on the ground. There it is. Wow, oh, you missed that the first time. Because you're reminiscing. The old days. And wow. Alright, wait for it. Got it. Point three skill up. Yeah, we're not doing very good tonight, are we? That was Geo Attunement. Next place, Gookskin Mines, West Room, where the Fly Agaric spawn. Oh, okay, so that's like really close to the survival guide. I was wondering if any of these were going to be in dungeons. I couldn't remember. I'm sure a few of them are going to be in dungeons. All right, so talking to you. I'm going to do teleportation. I'm going to do original release, looking for gook skin. There we go. Up, up, and away. This is a level 26 spell, Geo Barrier, right? No, Geo Focus is what we're going after next. Can't mount up in here. We'll just have to walk. Fifty transit treasure hound and crystal caboodle. So, those of y'all that haven't played in forever, um, they have what they call Mog Tablet buffs, which last for I don't know how many days, a few days, and basically it's like random stuff. Thif Thrifty transit basically means it doesn't cost any money to uh, teleport from one place to another, unless you're using homeland crystals, in which case it does. Uh, treasure Hound basically means you have Treasure Hunter on you, TH1, and then Crystal Caboodle. Sometimes, instead of dropping a uh, elemental crystal, when you kill them all, it'll drop a cluster. Sometimes. It's a low chance. But it happens. You are assaulted by an uncanny sensation. Is it still uncanny after all this time? I'm sure the last one's going to be considered uncanny as well. The Mystical Warmth. Welling up inside you, Geofocus. So, Geofocus should be like the last one. Oh, okay. That's Geofocus. <laughs> I think all that does is, uh, improves one, ac improves a party's accuracy, right? Yeah. Maybe it's not the same each time. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Next place, Batalia Downs on top of a hill. I love Batalia. I think it would be the same place though. It's definitely, definitely in that waterfall spot each and every time. Teleportation assistance, original release. Looking for Batalia in all the wrong places. Up, up, and away. 
I have a general rule. If there's zone music that you like, you don't mount up. You're just gonna walk. Batalia Downs is probably my favorite theme in FF11. Don't know why. There's just something about it that uh, feels lonely and yet welcoming all at the same time. So, no uh, floaty squid for this one. But we need to be running to D7, and since we're actually running, we probably want to make sure we're going in the right direction. 7, D... Okay. Off to the left, there's like a little uh, valley, I guess you can call it. And there's going to be a hill on top of there. That's where we're going. And it's actually going to be a pretty decent run, <laughs> now that I think about it. Not sure if it would have been faster to go to uh, Jugner. Nah, I don't think it would have been. Even just mounting up in Jugner, zoning into a battalion, and then just running the rest of the way. Well. Just going to continue this way. Hopefully not get lost. Probably going to get lost. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see, I got... I suppose I can check. Since we're going slow enough. See if there's any uh, notorious monsters that may or may not be up. Probably not. That's a notorious monster. I don't know if it's a good one. It's definitely up a level. Oh, we probably can't get up there now. Oh well. <laughs> we should be able to get up there. I just have to double back. Not too worried about it. I don't think he drops anything good, and even if he did, it's not like I have Treasure Hunter equipped. But there is a way up there. Nope, focus. We're not here to uh, kill NMs. We're here to get Geomantic Reservoirs. Though, I don't know, it kind of looks like he's chasing me now, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like... Notorious Monsters going, hey, I want to find somebody. I'm usually being hunted. Instead, I'll hunt you. But no. Alright, let's... This way? Yeah. I think the direction I need to be pointed. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, already messed up. Make another right. There we go. There's that, uh, valley. I actually, I actually, we actually, uh, camped for an XP party out in here one time when, um, the, uh, what do you call it? The Keep Em Island was, like, overcrowded. So, um, it was, like, too early to go to, uh, Kazam. And we're like, let's try this place. Attack the tigers. And we were getting, like, a lot of lightning crystals, and... Short of uh, going after goblins that were wearing armor, because I think they dropped lightning crystals as well. Um, there weren't really uh, too many other mobs that you could uh, XP off of to get those, except the elementals. And, uh, well, we forgot about the paralyzation effect from the roar, but other than that, it wasn't so bad. Alright. Salted by the uncanny sensation, the arcane energies begin to course within your veins. That was a little slow on that one. Point two. Yeah, a little slow. This is Geo Barrier. It'll look like this. No, oh, okay. It like surrounds you with rocks. Rocks are cool. <laughs> I guess barrier will do some type. I don't know if it'd be like a magical defense or a physical defense, but it's I'm sure it's in the spell description. Next place, back to Lithian Plateau. Okay, we gotta go through Ordale's Caves, use the proto waypoint warp if available. Oh, I don't have that one. Teleportation assistance. Let's uh, do 
original release. Let's go to uh, Ordell's Caves, you know. Theme, Walkroom, Constant, Ordell's, there we go. Up, up, and away. It's been a while since I successfully navigated Ordell's without getting lost a couple of times. He's like, Ordell's, yeah, that's where we go for Echo Warrior. I know the Echo Warrior path very well, or at least I thought I did. Nowadays, it's like, um, left takes you to Echo Warrior, right takes you to everything else, ish. That's how I generally remember it now. Well, that's not true, too, because left will also take you to the rooms that you drop down, and <gasps> that's right. Mole Bulger. Whatever his name is. I guess we'll check to see if he's up. I don't know if Dent has the vine needed for him. I guess we'll find out. Because I'm sure the mob is up. Actually, no. Let's check. Quest. Objective list. Region. Um. Okay. We have not subjugated more Bulger. I don't know if I can on this job but this we'll find out if there's anybody else in his own that's just assuming that the uh mob is up there's a good chance he isn't it's saturday somebody else might have a uh, been like hey let me go oh look he's up i'm gonna go get him that's also quetzalcoatl everybody everybody but dent already has a black belt that's not true song doesn't have it either syndical has one <laughs> you're like yeah that was a time that uh, Square Enix was hinting is like maybe we'll make a, a 119 version of the uh, black belt upgrade it because it's still a very decent belt for monks even at 99 they have better ones now of course but you know it's still not well shoot man why is he wearing that he might as well just be wearing like a uh, plain leather belt level 7 God, no, it's got a lot of haste on it. It's got a lot of haste on it. But, uh, eh. And when I, uh, finish everything else that I want to do in this game, and there's still a lot of stuff I want to do in this game, I'm going to come back to Dent and take Monk seriously once again and uh, see what we can do with it find a niche that he can fit whether it just be uh you know not such a great uh dps maybe he could make a not such a great tank just focus all on the counter stance that would be awesome but probably not all right so i am looking okay i think I... out of the way bats jeez walking here there should be a tunnel to the left coming up here. We're going to call this our exit. Yeah. And then we're going to run up another tunnel to the right. Then we're going to drop down. And hopefully the stuff that we drop down on doesn't aggro. Because if it does, then I'm going to be... Well, no, I should be able to cast a sleep spell on it. I just won't have any, have any way of doing a sneaking and biz on myself. I think we'll be fine. Next tunnel's gonna be coming up here. So this is a... I know the last zone I was in, I was like, we're not going to go after any notorious monsters. And then the next zone, we're going to go after a notorious monster. He's a, pretty much along the way. It's just a slight detour. I'm gonna see if he's up. If he is, awesome. If not, I'm mm, not going to take too much extra time. Except, maybe, we'll, especially if I'm going the wrong way. There's a pretty good chance that that's what we're doing. Um, um, Alright, so... I missed my turn off. Dang it! <laughs> uh, weren't we supposed to be going up at this point? Mm, yeah? Like a second floor... 
and you run up there and there's some holes in the ground and you fall through one of the holes and then you're on an elevated part back on the previous floor and then there's another exit you can go through that exit and climb some more stairs and then you're in the zone where you need to be all right so here's those stairs I think once we get up to this next level, it's where the higher level mobs in the zone that they added hang out, like bunnies, bugs, bunnies, I think that's what they called it. Give uh, credit for Square Enix, making a reference to uh, something else that they could probably have been sued for. <laughs> that's probably just their way of saying, hey, other entertainment people. There we go. Oh, buds, bunny, not bugs. I guess that was their way of uh, making sure they didn't get uh, sued. Incredibly easy prey. Now, I don't know if you could drop down this one and still get to the level that you wanted to. I'd rather not take that chance, so I'm gonna take the one that's uh, all the way in the back, just to play it safe. One of these days I'll test it out going yeah you can drop them like, oh no no now we gotta run back and hop down and this stuff will probably aggro maybe not it's incredibly easy at least there's our tunnel this is where we are on the map yeah I guess those two holes were close enough to each other that it... actually no probably maybe not because anyway, who cares <laughs> just Go up the stairs. Go back up to the second level. See if we can find the exit. In addition to a big giant walking plant. Speaking of which, I wonder if this would count. Probably wouldn't. Objective list. Content. Ambuscade. Daily 2 primer. As I know... For the daily primer, if you kill a plant type for volume 2, they'll get you the key item to get into Ambuscade. Um, I don't know if it counts for Notorious Monsters. Wouldn't it be neat if it did? But it probably doesn't. Uh-oh. <laughs> for a second there, it's like, lag. Lag spike. Oh no, don't crash. It didn't. The game stayed stable. This time. Oh, my belly. Oh, it is after 12 o'clock. Because I haven't had lunch yet. Oh, well. Sorry about that. Stroper chimes! All those old uh, Notorious Monster Hunters probably have uh, mixed feelings about those guys. It's all like, Stroper chime! They have like a really rare chance at dropping a... Uh, what was it? A ring, wasn't it? Archer's ring, something ring. I don't remember. I wasn't the. Uh, I wasn't a notorious monster hunter. I was a fisherman. I would go fishing, and uh, sell the fish. Use the gill made from selling the fish to buy the stuff that everybody else spent their time hunting. I was like, I had just as much ADD as the next guy, but there was just something about. Hanging around for a few hours, waiting for a pop time, for an NM to show up, and then there's no guaranteed chance that you're going to get it. Whereas with fishing, it's like, you wait for a minute with your uh, rod out, waiting for a fish to bite, there's a pretty good chance you're going to pull something up. Not always sure what. Sometimes it was a mob. I think that was probably also what I enjoyed about uh, fishing, was that sometimes the fish in this game eat you and come back here don't don't make this awkward man <laughs> um what's my biggest spell that I got blizzard four fire fire four fire four You find a more bulgur vine on the more bulgur. 
This was one of those NMs that I could never bring myself to camp because he only popped up, what was it, once every 20 hours? Maybe once every 24 hours? I was like, yeah, just stay up there the whole time. And when you needed it, because it's a level 40 belt from the quest, um, there was no guarantee that you were going to be able to uh, actually kill that guy at level 40 because, you know, they were mean. All I'm going to say. Oh, I thought that was the NM. There's the NM. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, um... Faraga, burn... Don't I have, like, a Geo version of fire? Let's find out. Okay. He didn't drop anything, but no, oh well. At least we killed it. We're done blowing stuff up. Alright, so. Oh, yeah, do you get. About to check, see if you get a title for uh, defeating that big, giant, overgrown plant person. Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Alright, now that we're back in the theme, for those of you all curious. This is where we are. Like, wow. That was long and drawn out. And like, yeah. Yeah, it kind of was. This was also the path you would need to take if you're doing the uh, Zalart quest, where you need to find a statue. I think it's the statue with the ice. And there's your geomantic reservoir right there. All right. Let's go clicking it, just like before. You are assaulted by an uncanny sensation. The arcane energies begin to course within your veins. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now, you feel a mystical warmth welling up inside you. Geo refresh with a point two magic skill up. Geo refresh is handy. If you're like a backline job. And you need to keep all your everybody else, you know, refreshed. So, fun times there. Alright, so hopefully that's the one that's going to take the longest amount of time. Next one, Lower Delphut's Tower. Southwest on the first floor, directly west of the entrance. Well, shoot. It's like way too easy. Not complaining. No, I guess I am. It takes a survival guide. I think they have a survival guide for uh, Lower Delphut's. Find out real fast here. Original release, definitely gonna be on the next page. Castles of all, Bosadine. Maybe not. Alright, so let's go back to keep them. Maybe there is one and Nent just doesn't have it. That's probably it. I'm not allowed to copy. Actually, we're gonna take a short break. Not a big one. As my chair goes squeak, squeak, squeak. Sorry about that. Um, I'm just gonna go turn the coffee pot back on. I think I still got some coffee in there. I just need to heat it back up. Dance back. One of these is survival guide. Yeah, see, there is a survival guide in here. He just doesn't have it. About the change. It appears that you have arrived at a new survival guide provided by the Adventurer's Mutual Aid Network. Common sense dictates that you should now be able to teleport here from similar tombs throughout the world. That's common sense in Final Fantasy XI. It's like, hey, look, a floating book. Great. Now I'll be able to teleport anywhere this book once again um it said southwest right from the main entrance yeah did lower duck with cellar southwest on the first floor direct directly west of the entrance so i'm thinking here right because and this directly west of the entrance east west yeah, all right, that's fine. We'll check over here. There's probably something shiny that I didn't see. Probably like around the corner. 
Oh yeah, there's a location. Uh, E8. See, we're at F10. Now we're at F9. E should be more to the west. There's E9. And then H should be more to the north, right? This is directly west of the entrance. It's on the other side. There's a door, isn't it? Open the door. Really? I, I have trouble believing that's correct. Southwest on the first floor, directly west of the entrance. So at E8. Now we're at F8. I don't think we're doing this right. I really don't. Now we're at F9. Mm, G9. Yeah, this, this, yeah, this isn't even the same map anymore. This is the basement. Alright, let's go. I thought I saw something shiny there, but it was the uh, Void Watch glimmer shiny thingy. Maybe it's on the second floor. Maybe I should just pull up my old video where I found it on a Song Garthal. <laughs> oh, there it is! Yeah. Open the door. Alright. E8. Southwest of the floor, directly west of the entrance. Blood aggro! Howdy. Happy Saturday. I would say good morning, but it's almost 1 o'clock. I guess technically... No, I don't say it. Good morning. My granddad used to say, you're going to be like 8 o'clock at night. Morning, everyone. Morning. It's like nighttime. It's always bothered people when he did that. Okay, all we're doing is just looking for geomantic reservoirs. I see a planet rift. Alright, I'm going to go up the stairs. Maybe it's up the stairs, but I seriously doubt it. Just woke up, so it's still morning for me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the cat tried to get me up earlier this morning, too. I think I finally got... I, mean, I did get up late for me. Like 9.30ish. But, uh, it's not so bad. Hmm. Oh, I'm having so much trouble with this one. This is Lower Delquitz Tower. Oh. See, they don't have any lines separating it, so there actually is a line above. Line to the E8. Second floor. Use the stairs to the southwest on the first floor, directly west of the entrance. <laughs> I'm not going to blame whoever edited the page to say that's... Right, there it is right there oh yeah back at level 20 black mages they could solo this hallway back there they would just need to wait for the bat to be turned around and all you have to do is just cast a uh blizzard 2 i think on the gigas bat they have very low hit points and it was like bam xp then you just wait for him to resummon his little bat friend wait for him to turn around again if you got lucky you get an xp chain if you got unlucky, you got killed. I tried it. I got a couple levels that way. And I was like, this is boring. I want to go back into a party. Feel the mystical warmth welling up inside you. Thought I clicked the button. Obviously I didn't. Yay, Geo Charisma. Which will increase the charisma for everybody close by. Is it going to be like little floaty hearts? Nope. Just... Shiny stuff. Yay for shiny stuffs. Um, next one. Rolling Berry Fields for Geomind. Next to the pond. I think that's all it says. Yeah. Which is, I guess, fine. Which pond, though? Oh. J10. Let's see. Map. Changing map. Let's go to... Durfland. 
Rollenberry Fields. Now I'm looking for J10. Because depending upon which pawn they're talking about, is that pawn? Okay. Um, we're going to do this differently. Instead of using a survival guide or using a uh, home point crystal, we're going to use a unity warp. So we're going to uh, do current regions, southern sandy, by the exit. Yes, please. We'll do the uh, unity warp for the level 128 mod. Which one was that? Big giant bird. Can't remember the name of it right now. And uh, we'll go and uh, do the fast way that way. Try and make up some time. Well, not that we're too far behind. Erbio Lane, the NPC without any pants, who doesn't like you, let us do bring me to a wanted encounter area. Level 128, Cape Terrigan, Ulugarand Range, Dena Rancor, Fei Yin, Mizuru Coast, Mount Zelum, Gustav. Okay, maybe it's not 128. If it's 125. Yeah, 125. My mistake. Yes. Sunbreeze Festival is going on right now. I think maybe that's what we'll do tomorrow morning. If we wake up. It's a good chance we won't. Hey, look, everyone! It's Simurg! Speaking of which, do I have a uh, title? <gasps> I do! Morble Bane. Because I killed the Morbulber. Um, because of that, Simurg gets to live. <laughs> this time. We'll get him next time. I want to say his uh, pop timer has been decreased because. I want to say that I've killed him, then went and killed the uh, Unity NM a couple of times. It's at D10, right? One very close. J10, J10, J10. J10? Oh no, really? Where'd you see D10? Oh, dang it, Dent. Yeah, we, we still went to the wrong place. In fact, I think it'll probably be faster. Take the survival guide now. <laughs> Coffee cup's still empty. <laughs> Coffee's not heated up yet. Sad face. So sad. <sighs> I'll wake up. I usually don't get the juices flowing till after the third or fourth cup of coffee, anyways. So, survival guide. Teleportation. Original release. Looking for. Batalia Downs. No, Rollingberry Pits. Which I may or may not have. Doesn't look like I have it. Dang it. Okay, we'll take Prowler's Nest. It's not too far away. Gatsby Roads! Happy Saturday! And good afternoon to you too! I don't want to call it afternoon until after I've had lunch. Miss Kitty. I don't know where Miss Kitty Oh, Miss Kitty's probably in the window, sunning herself. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so we're gonna run this way. This will take us out of here. Unless you went the wrong way, in which case we're just running deeper into Prowler's Nest. Okay, we're running in the right direction. <laughs> oh, now I'm starting to think that maybe if you just stayed in there the whole time, you'd still be on your way to the Geomantic Reservoir for Rollenberry. Mount up. F13. So we need to go a little bit to the north and a lot more to the east. It's okay, as long as you can find the uh, break in the fences, be able to hop down no problem. There's, uh, the zones around Juno, they all had uh, different music. Rollingberry, um, Batalia, and the uh, Sargoon Champagne. No idea how to pronounce that first part of the word, but, uh... Everybody that I knew in-game liked the zone music for those zones more than they liked, um, the Juno music. And a lot of people love Juno music. I don't know why. It just seems like a lot of people say, oh, I love Juno music. And the Christmas theme? That's the best. And I'm like, god, that was like the worst, but that's just me. <laughs> Probably just too much time spent in there and they're like oh yeah the theme for Relude Garden is so serene like it's so pretentious what are you talking about no. 
probably pissing people off. I apologize about that. But, uh, no, we would hang outside of, a uh, Juno because the music was, a uh, more entertaining outside than it would be to, uh, AFK wait. And, uh, inside Juno. And also, there used to be, uh, outdoor flea markets where we would stick our bizarre mules. Um, but Talia Downs, by the, uh, zone line to, uh, what you call it? Yeah, I missed my turn off. Um, to Juno, they would just all AFK up along the uh, edges where uh, they didn't have to worry about wandering mobs coming after them. And one goes shopping. This is back before they had FF11 auction houses, back before they had a, you know, a decent, I guess, uh, aftermarket community. Aftermarket community. Just, uh, you would just. Go and look and like see what people had for sale and also see what they were wearing. Well they were all AFK and I think the reason that we did it outside of town though was because if you did it in Juno there were taxes involved in the bazaars. But not the case if you did it outside the zone. And uh then Quetzalcoatl got merged with um Migdar somewhere, I believe. And they had a different area. They, they did it in a Rollinberry. Same thing. And then... It was like trying to figure out... Uh, which area was going to get conjugated to first. And then they just took the uh, taxes off the bazaar. And everybody just stayed in uh, Upper Juno. And it was just like long lines of uh, players AFK up along the uh, walls. With their bazaars out. And I was like, wow. Uh, like a lot of shops and they all sell stuff that I was never interested in. I think I tried it a couple times uh, trying to sell my fish but uh, it's never worked out that well probably would have been better to go to, like to the cooking guild in uh, Windurst so anyway this probably almost took nearly as long as uh, the one in uh, Lathene just a while ago don't warp yet click the thing <laughs> You are assaulted by an uncanny sensation. Dense thinking about it. The arcane energies begin to course within your veins. And each of us finish coursing. Build mystical warmth welling up inside you. Point three skill up. Geomind. Let's see what that looks like. It's blue. And watery, just like you would think mine would be. It's not so bad. It's not so great either, but oh no. I'm sure it's got uses. Next one is gonna be the one everyone's gonna like. Yeah! Geo Fury. This would be a good one to get. Gotta go to Suramugu Champagne, located near a crater near Deadly Dodo. Deadly Dodo might be up. Probably won't be. I'm gonna do travel to another home point, teleportation assistance. Teleportation assistance. Hopefully I have it. Oops. Original release. Next page. Uh oh. Do I not have it? Tarongi, Buburimu, Maze of Shop Ramen, Marifalted Mountains, Garlic Citadel. I don't have it. Alright. Home point crystal. Travel to another home point, going to Juno, going to Port Juno by the exit. Yes, please. This might actually be quicker. If more expensive. I'm like, man, it's like, what was it, 100 gil? It's 100 gil I could be using towards uh, Cyndaquil's uh, Alexandrites. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, maybe not. Get out here before the Juno music gets into your head. Swapping cups around here. Cheers, everybody. Water. <laughs> I'm gonna hop on to our little Zomit mount. See if we can find our uh, Geo Fury Geomantic Reservoir. This one's not too far away, actually. Just along, just as you approach the coast, if I remember correctly. 
Yeah, just travel east from Juno. I should take you there. See if there's any players here in the zone. Search area, current area. That's just me. All right. We'll go ahead and take this opportunity to s after we get the uh, geomantic thingy. Do a wide scan, see if the deadly dodo is up. If I remember correctly, deadly dodo doesn't have the 100% drop rate that the mole boulder has. That is a uh, spawn time is a uh, quite a bit shorter. And it's like a uh, it's the tiger that I'm not looking forward to. New. I hear uh, players have gone like one out of like 300 before they finally got the drop needed for the quest. Cynical got lucky. She got it on the first try. And I don't know if that's just incredible luck on her part or more maybe Square Enix changed the drop rate on it so that made it 100% drop rate. Because players have other things to do in this game than spend days of their lives waiting for the drop for a level 40 quest item. <laughs> Okay, so this will be the first crater. We are looking for K6. This is J6. So continue traveling east. It's a Tabar Beak. Probably going to be in this next one coming up here. There it is. Here's K6. There's something shiny down there. Go ahead and dismount. Click the thingy. Actually, hold on. Well, I already clicked it, so we'll just have to wait. You are assaulted by an uncanny sensation. Arcane energies begin to course within your veins. Feel a mystical warmth welling up inside you. 0.3 skill. Wow, we're, we're slow tonight, aren't we? Anyway, this is one he's probably going to be using quite a bit, actually. Geo Fury. Apex parties. Increases everybody's attack, right? Due to the effect of Geomancy, attack is enhanced. Gonna make for some really interesting Rudra storms. <laughs> uh, let's check the map real quick. We're going to do wide scan. We're going to be looking for... Um, Deadly Dodo. Should be in the area if he's up. Doesn't look like it though, so. That's warp. Get out of here. Uh, next one, Geo Intelligence in Bow City Glacier, near a lake. Use the outpost or survival guide warps if available. Okay. Hopefully we got that. I'm not, I know I have the outpost warp. Bow City is. It's a big zone. Only because so much of it is like broken off. You can't run straight up or you can't run straight down. Teleportation. Original release. Definitely going to be on the next page. There we go. Bosiding Glacier. Up, up, and away. Not sure how much longer I should give the coffee to warm up. Don't want it to be cold. Don't want it to be lukewarm either. Mm. I like it. All right, so this is the lake they're talking about. Page nine. Yeah, this is it. That's not a lake, though. There's the lake. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Bum, 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 bum. It's like nobody goes after ice crystals, ice clusters. Dang it! Oh, that's so sad. The spell takes so long to cast that it runs away in time. You never know. Might need it for uh, something else. There's the reservoir. I'm going to take care of this guy, though. Nobody runs away. He's doing it again. That's better. Sorry. All that work just for two clusters that will probably end up in PCM for gills. 
All right, you were assaulted by an uncanny sensation. It's like so bright, you can't even see the uh, shininess of the shinies. And distracting enough that you didn't even wait for the uh, exclamation points. Oh well. Geo intelligence. Make all the black mages in the party happy. Hey, look, it's icy. <laughs> Next. Castle Astroja. It's in the second floor. Exterior area to the west from G7 on the second floor map. Southeast corner of H8. Okay. I'm pretty familiar with Castle O. Or at least I used to be. Now that I think about it, it's probably been like six or seven months since I've been in there. Now that I think about it, Dent might not have the survival cut because I usually do it on Zenequil. Teleportation assistance, original release, next page. Oh, no, she, he doesn't have it. Oh, that's lame. All right, previous page. We're looking for Marifalted Mountains now. Maybe that was on the next page. He's a shark rummy, Marifalted. This is going to be a little bit of a run. Oh well. We'll get there. I think. Probably safe to say after crossing Marifalted, picking up the survival guy for Castle O, running out to the second floor, finding the reservoir, learning the spell, and then hitting the warp button, then the coffee should be warm enough. <laughs> that sounds fair, right? Ish? Maybe? Probably. Yeah, it's my sword, I'm sticking with it. Okie doke, so... Castle O is gonna be on the far right of where you see Dragoroga's spine. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. That's how it looks like it would want to be pronounced, but... It's always one of those things that... Since there was no voice chat in this game, because, you know, 2002, it was all just basically, you would look at it, you would read it, and then, I don't know if we ever really thought about how it actually sounded in our head. I mean, me, I looked at it and it was like, Dragoriga. Dragon spine, because, you know, there were like a bunch of dragon skeletons in the uh, zone to the south. Tahu I hope I said that right. Probably butchered it. Happy Saturday to your friend. Alright, maps. Hey, we're about halfway there. Alright, so not too, too bad. I don't think Tarangi Canyon's survival guide would have been any faster. Although that would have been like right next to the uh, southern part of the zone. Here is the spine. Always bothered me that they just weren't able to... Uh, through the default settings of the game, get it so that you could just have the entire thing load. Because there's nothing that takes you out of the immersion of the game quite like uh, seeing half a spine and just disappears into the distance. I know that Windower has uh, capabilities that you can increase the draw distance to crazy amounts, at least just for the environment, not for the uh, mobs. That would be broken. Maybe. And here's Castle O, which, if you played this on the PS2, you never saw this. Or if you did, it just basically looked like this uh, jumbled mess of pixels that looked like the rest of the surrounding canyon. It wasn't until I was on the PC that I was approaching this one day going, oh, wow, it is a castle. Okay. Wonder how they built it. Well, it's not like they... You know, they, they, they've they got fingers, don't they? They're kind of like claws. But yeah. Castle Oak? Oakoats? Nope, we're uh, doing all the Geomancer spells. I have Ochihoda's coat on some character somewhere. It's probably on Song. It's like all the uh, old lower level stuff finds its way onto him somehow and just stays there. I was looking through his inventory last night. It's all like, hey, there's my leaping boots. Dang it. All right. Found the uh, book. It appears you have arrived at a new survival guide, so we can use this again in the future. I guess traffic's lighting up on the tollway this afternoon that uh, 
Or no, it probably wasn't speeding. It was probably just a very, very, very loud muffler. Because, you know. Look at me, Senpai. <laughs> My engine is loud. Compensating for something else that isn't very uh, awe-inspiring. <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. So I hope this is the right way. I'm going to be taking the trap door. And supposedly there is a way that you can figure out which direction it is offline. There's like some type of code, I think. But there's easier ways. Let's simply click it and run. Sometimes you have to uh, do it better than that. Okay, so it's not the one on the left. It's going to be the one on the right. There we go. Click. And there you go. I'm going to take the stairs up to the second floor. We are looking for H8. Second floor exterior area to the west from G7 on the second floor map. Southeast corner of H8. I'm sure once I get there, I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember it's over here. But, there's going to be, I always get turned around in the beginning once I get up here. It's because there's like, depending upon where you're headed, final location, it's going to determine which spot you're going to want to go. We're going to want to go to the left. I think. Pretty sure. We'll find out. Left. Back in the old days, we were running players through here to uh, get the uh, Magicite missions done. And it was always... We were always doing it at a level where they would still aggro everything. And we were like, alright, I need Sneak. Alright, everybody stop, find a safe place so we can reapply Sneak and Biz. And you finish casting and start moving. Oh, the snake's wearing off again. <sighs> really? Like, yeah. Sorry. LOL. But, um. And we're just like, oh shoot, I got aggro. We just kill everything. We found out that it was faster just to uh, aggro and kill everything. A lot faster. Okay, it wasn't this way, was it then? Probably over there. Alright. Um. It was just faster to aggro and kill all the uh, bats and the agudo and take the uh, gill drops and whatever else was dropping. And uh, then it was just trying to sneak in. And it was also a lot more fun. That's narrow. That's why you never had the person with low enhancing to cast sneak in. Invis. Oh, it was like one red mage. And he was pretty high level. He was like level 70. It might have been before he had 75. I don't remember exactly. But uh, now his, his skill was. It was just. It's casting Sneaking Invis on like four other players, and this was also back in the day when Sneaking Invis usually wore off after three minutes anyways. Alright, so... H8. This is H8. Second floor map. Maybe it's in here. Let's see. Now, I remember it being on an edge. <laughs> I think I see it. No. <laughs> I saw the top of that little uh, thingy. I was like, oh, that's what you see. All right, let's read this again. Second floor, exterior area to the west, from G7 on the second floor map, southeast corner of H8. So, southeast corner, H8. You can't get to the southeast corner of H8, can ya? Alright, so let's go back into the second floor map and see if that was uh, G7. Possibility it wasn't. In which case, it's going to be the other courtyard. Not that I'm trying to see if an NM is up or anything. I was kind of wanting to see if Notorious Monster was up. Because, you know, reasons. Alright, so we're going to run back in here. 
And I think it's safe to say that this is not G7. Yeah, it's safe to say G7 is going to be... Alright, alright, alright. I know where to go now. Um, is the turn off here? Yeah. It's like, I wish I had sub thief now for the flea shoes. Although, powder boots would probably work as well. Can I run straight ahead? No. Don't go that way. Go this way. Even though there's a notorious monster down there. It's not going to be the notorious monster we want. Well, maybe. Drop skill, I think. He just, just likes to keep casting sleep and puts everybody to sleep. And, yeah, that's all. He's a white mage. What was it? I don't remember the name of it. It's not at all. Let's see if I can remember. Magic. White magic. There's no nothing to guarantee that Dent even uh, knows it. Auspice? No, not that one. Fresh regen, teleports, protector, re-race, sneak and viz, teleport puzzle. Okay. He probably doesn't know it then. Repose. Repose is what it's called. Why I couldn't remember it? I'm sure there's lots of reasons as to why I couldn't remember it. Because he never cast it. That's the main reason. It was also one of those spells that when Square Enix introduced it, players were like, Oh! This will come in handy. It's like... Because there were so many mobs that we would try to sleep, but they were resistant to dark magic. I'm thinking... Um, the Hecates mobs in uh, Dynamis. The pets, at least. They were uh, very uh, resistant to it. We would have to use the uh, bard uh, sleep songs on them. We would try to use a combination of both on everything. Alright, G7 turns into I8. So now we just need to... Uh... There we go. Let's hit right there. This should be the southeast corner of... H8. Alright. If I was toot my own horn just a little while ago saying, I know Castle O like the back of my hand. No, you don't. You might have used to. Sure, I probably don't even know the back of my hand anymore. Arcane energies begin to course within your veins. Old Mystical Warps welling up inside you. And Geo Agility looks like this. Ta-da! Next. <laughs> oh no, not Devoy! Oh great. It's gonna be Geofend. Off the map, along the river. J11. Okay, it's probably gonna be on the south end of the... Yeah, 11 probably on the south side. <gasps> Maybe not. We'll find out real quick. Here's where I find out I don't have the survival guide for Devoy. <laughs> he didn't have it for Castle Low. Alright. Teleportation. Original release, Fallgrown, Gookskin, Jugner, Vitalia, it would have been... You do have it. Good. Worried for a sec there. Up, up, and away. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go fill my coffee cup back up, because it's probably warm by now. Oh, we got this cold.
hindsight, I should have probably left us in Sandy so we could have some silly bagpipe music to listen to. Apologize about that. But, oh well, I get to hear a bird squawking. Thunder rolling. All that fun stuff. I couldn't just make a plain Jane cup of coffee now, could I? I had to go and add some cocoa powder and sugar and J11. So it is going to be the one to the south. Awesome. A um, little bit of powdered milk and a little bit of a Gentleman Jack. Turned into a nice uh, coffee squawk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was in a faster way, is there? I wonder. I've never done this before, and I'm probably going to regret doing this now, but it's worth a shot, I suppose. Let's see if we can hop into the uh, river and just follow it all the way to the south. It'll, it'll, it'll probably be like a barricade, something that'll block us. I mean, like, great. Now we're lost. <laughs> but maybe not. This may be the faster way to go. As opposed to, like, Running around through a few orcs, taking a couple wrong turns. Because this bridge is out, but you can still hop down. And watch all the Devoy Pugles aggro. Can't tell if they aggroed or not. I don't see any misses going after me. It didn't look like they turned to attack. Nah, we're fine. So now we're just looking for the southern turnoff. Actually, it's not a turnoff, it's just keep going this way. Sneak, sneak, sneak. There's the bridge. And as long as there aren't any surprises along this next turn, then those will probably be the preferred route to go. Yeah. Well, definitely faster. Okay. Not that the other way was necessarily long and arduous, but you just had to, like, uh, go south and follow back, double back a couple of times, and... Hey, look, a Marlboro. It's too weak. So sad. <laughs> it's either going to be on this side or it's going to be on the other side. It's always on the other side, isn't it? Oh, you can't jump down into the water? What's up with that? And I have trouble believing that this entire creek that goes through the zone is being powered by this little itty bitty waterfall. I mean, it's got the sound to back it up, but it just doesn't look like nearly enough water. Oh well. Excuse me, guys. Pardon me. Learning spells here. Making myself less gimpy. Still gimpy, though. Just less gimpy. The arcane energies begin to course within your veins, and the sun just set. Wait for it. Wait for it. Dang, it's waited a little too long that time, but no well. Point two, geofend, which is going to look like this. Can't really see it too well because Marlboro is deciding to uh, do something to our leg. E four T <sighs> Japanese and their tentacle porn. What what can I say? <laughs> God dang man. That's just nasty. <laughs> there we go, this is what Geofen looks like. <laughs> Due to the effect of geomancy, magic defense is enhanced. Well, that comes in handy. Yeah, let's warp out of here. Next one, Guard Lage Citadel. Yuck. All right, it's gonna be on map two, behind gate number one, behind the fetid flesh where the Guard Lage chest spawns. That's not so bad. This is where we're gonna find out if Dentral has won the survival gate, survival gate, survival guide for Guard Lage Citadel. And the uh, key item to get him past the, uh, what you call it, vanishing gate. I think he does. Let's find out. Original release. I think the Citadel's gonna be on the next page. There it is. And up, up, and away. 
Sorry. Not really. It's a fun song. Everybody should hum along with it. Be better than the uh, Coca-Cola song, Give Peace a Chance, or something like that. And that was a John Lennon song, wasn't it? Coca-Cola was the we want to teach the world to sing. That's it. That's going to take us out. We need to go this way. Deeper into the citadel. And try not to fall through the cracks in the floor, or the holes in the floor. I guess they could be considered cracks. If you look at them from far enough away, that would look like cracks. Give FF11 goblins a chance. <laughs> GM Dave had a couple of blogs that he wrote. They won't always chase you down the entire zone. <laughs> yeah, they will. Give it a chance, they will. <laughs> but uh, he had a, another blog that he did as they, uh, from the point of view of a goblin smithy. And uh, he was talking about this one time that he saw this one adventurer. She was so beautiful and made his heart melt and all this other stuff. And he just went in this long diatribe of how everything he had done in the game had been for uh, not, if only just to uh, get to this one point in time where he'd finally be able to meet this woman of his dreams. And he approached her and she started screaming, Ah! Aggro! Help! I'm being chased by a goblin smithy at something something all in caps and uh yeah that was the end of that old oh, two wings ow he hit me and right behind old two wings is old sewer sand magic blizzard four T. Ow. Yay, I got the bat cape. I don't know how many bat capes I have now. It's a few. And Sewer Sam, right behind him. This one hits you too. What do you mean you can't cast spells at this time? How about now? Ugh. Game. Magic! Thunder four. Now you're asking for it. Of course, now I'm also running out of MP, but oh well, not the end of the world. Get any titles for those guys? Profile Beak Bender. I guess you do. How about that? <laughs> Wasn't I just singing, uh, I'd like to taste the world to sing? <gasps> That's what we should do next time we level Bard. Or even worse, make a macro so that when you're casting said spell, do in party chat, I'd like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. And just do it each and every time that you have to recast those songs drive your party members crazy because that song is stuck in their head. At least the older ones. Well, everyone that plays FF11, I guess, is considered the older ones now. But, uh... <laughs> you'll never get asked to uh, come on Bard ever again. So, Geomantic Reservoir, Treasure Chest. Those of y'all that need to know, this is where we are on the map. This is, I guess, map 2. I guess it's map 2. Alright, clicking this thingy, Geomantic Reservoir says... You are assaulted by an uncanny sensation. Chances are we're going to also be assaulted by a flesh monster to the left of us. Just like we were assaulted by a Marlboro vine, the last zone. Yay! Geo vitality! Which I'm going to guess increases one's vitality. And since Vitality also has a direct uh, emphasis on defense now, hey, this also has stones that follow you. Huh. How about that? Due to the effects of Geomancy, Vitality is enhanced. I'm sure there's going to be a point somewhere in the future that we'll need that one. Alright. Geodex. This is going to be in Behemoth.
Dominion. Use the south path towards Behemoth Pop area. The quickest way to get there is to use the Unity Concord Warp by selecting Subjugation Sovereign Behemoth Quest. You'll land at F7, just north of the Geomantic Reservoir. Not that the survival guide is terribly slow. Teleportation, you could also probably use the uh, Behemoth Mask. Yeah, that would take you there. Um, original release, definitely on the next page. Posting. There it is, Behemoth's Dominion. Up, up, and away. Now, we never went into the zone until, like, way after the fact of everybody already had all the uh, defending rings. That's not true. <laughs> it was always people that needed more defending rings. But, uh, can you mount up in here? Apparently you can, so it's not a dungeon. Some of these outdoor areas are considered dungeons, but this isn't one of them. Um, no, actually, I take that back. When I was leveling Warrior... And we were trying to get to 37 on my warrior. Uh, we reach a point, usually like around level 35, that the XP starts to get really bad in the Citadel. And it was also really crowded, so we're like, hey, let's go to Dominion and uh, kill bats. And we did that for a couple levels, and it was actually pretty casual because everybody, shoot, I think on that day I had been up for like 24 hours straight playing FF11. Wanted to get those last seven levels. It was kind of freaking awesome. But, uh. <laughs> yeah, it was just like the last part. It's all like, Vogue! Kill! And they're like, hey, you forgot to Vogue! And they're like, yeah, it's okay. White Mage can tank. White Mage is awesome. Awesome tank. And they're like, lol, get it off me! Just, you know, fun times. Screwing around. So, Southern Map. Almost there, except you probably already passed it, right? You landed F7. We need to go to E8. So this is F8. So keep going to the west. Should almost be there. There might actually be somebody here killing a king behemoth. We used to do that. It's field parchment. I don't need a field parchment. That's the pop for sovereign behemoth. Ah, there it is. Dismounting. Looked like he was sliding just a little bit there. Ah, oh, it's icy. In August. You are assaulted by an uncanny sensation. Arcane energies begin to course within your veins. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now. Feel mystical warmth welling up inside you. And a point three skill up. Geodex! Which I'm gonna assume increases one's dexterity. It's all thundery, too. That's kinda neat. Alright, let's warp out of here. Next one, back to Bosadine. Next to the lake, heading toward Feiyin at the edge of J7. Bosadine Glacier. How many of these spells are there? There's a lot. I haven't counted yet. But however many spells there are for Indy, <laughs> they got a corresponding Geo spell as well. Hmm. Mm, I'm trying to think which would be faster, but it'd probably be the survival guide. Teleportation assistance. Original release. Next page. Boasting Glacier. Up, up, and away. Hmm. Trying to think. I suppose we could count real quick. We've got the guide right here in front of us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's at mind. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We just learned a sixteenth one. Seventeen, eighteen at strength. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight at gravity. Twenty-nine, thirty. There are a total of 30, so we're about halfway done. How's that all? <laughs> now it's up. And we need to go on a little bit faster here if we want to get this done in three hours. Not that we have to get it done in three hours, but it would be nice to uh, stick to a theme. 
Make sure there's no notorious monsters. Not that. This isn't a notorious monster. Go and get them all. I would kind of need if it was. This way. I'm hoping I remember the way there. Pretty sure I do. This is the direction you need to go if you're headed to Fei Yin. And I guess this is also the direction you want to go if you need to get to that little area in Batalia Downs that is elevated. It's assuming that you haven't done the Wings of the Goddess mini quest where you can use a flower to teleport you up a uh, straight wall. Never understood the mechanics or physics in that. It's like, the scent of flowers takes you back to a time when there was a ramp here that you could walk up. You're like, huh. Makes sense to me. <laughs> Hop down here. I wonder, and probably not, but I would hope that if just for this zone, for uh, Dynamis, Dynamis Bosidine, Square Enix, let us use mounts. I, I know you don't want us using mounts, and it would probably confuse a lot of the uh, stuff in the game, but this zone is too big. You going after all the time extensions? You're going to waste just as much time as... No, that's not true. You're going to use up a lot of, of that time extension that you got going after some of these. That's assuming you don't get yourself killed in the process, but... Eh. I say that. I haven't really had to farm Dynamis uh, Bosadine in a long time. I'm sure we'll come back here for something someday. Some character. Not too bad, now. We just need to go straight, and we're going to make a left this next open area and just keep following the path all the way to the north till you get to the pond before you get to Fei Yin. Then it's back to Crawler's Nest. This Crawler's Nest is awesome. What spell are we learning next? Geoacumen. Alright, this is where we're supposed to be going north now. It's still weird to see goblins here because we don't spend this much time in the regular Bosidine. and it's always more. Dynamis, Bosidine. I don't remember. There's a Wings of the Goddess version of the Bosidine Glacier as well. But, um. I think we only go through it once for, uh. Whatchamacallit? Just to get to Zarkabard. <laughs> and it's like, never again! We'll go through that accursed zone. That was, like, way too big. Mmm. Not that I should be complaining. Being able to use mounts pretty much anywhere outside made this so much easier. Faster. Not easier. It was pretty easy to begin with. Just faster. Quality of life adjustment, I think, is what they called it. Alright. Hey, look! More ice elementals. I can get them close enough to each other. No, 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 no. Focus, 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 focus. You're looking for something shiny on the ground. Maybe this isn't the lake that we're thinking of. I think it is, though, isn't it? Yeah, this has to be it. Um, next to the lake, heading toward Fei Yin at the edge of J7. So, 7, J. Oh. Just have to turn the camera around a little bit more. Next to some shrubbery. Or something. Thinking about it. Salted by the uncanny sensation. Now, why is it so uncanny? Arcane energies begin course within your veins. That's where you stop and wait. Think. Think. Thought a little too long there, Dent. He's old. He's slow. He learned geo acumen. Magic. Acumen. See what this looks like. Watch the ice elementals attack. Another ice-looking thingy. Due to the effects of Geomancy, magic attack is enhanced. Well, that's cool. All right, let's warp out of here. Make the black mages all nice and happy. Next, Crawler's Nest. Using the Void Watch works, but you materialize outside the nest using the Survival Guide. Places you inside. In either case, travel to F6 and find it just after the de where demonic tipia pops. Southwest corner of the room. So it wasn't like a super fast way to get there. Teleportation survival guide, because it's cheap. 
original release. Crawler's Nest. Crawler's Nest is one of those other zones that uh, was a pain to get the map for. Most players didn't have it, they just knew the zone because they just knew the zone. And uh, I guess I was one of those as well. Once you get the map for it, it's like, oh, map doesn't really help too much, does it? It was always neat because it'd be like a bunch of level 30 folks leveling up in the smaller areas. And every now and then you would see like a group of level 60 folks running through and, you know, all their spiffy artifact armor stuff. And it was like, wow, those are the high levels. They're still in the zone? Like, yeah, there's some higher level mobs that they can go for. Them. Like, that's kinda cool. Kinda. The map helped a bit, especially when you had to find the coffers. I could see that. But I think using like a, another I'll say another map on another computer. Not that everybody had another computer they could look on. FF eleven Atlas was quite a bit more entertaining than that, but it was like you look at this going, um, I don't know where to go from here. You just like, just keep going straight, man. Eventually you'll get to the sack room, and you just hop on down. You know, it was like the sack room and the donut room. Those were like the only two rooms that people knew about. There was also a beetle room. Where there were some beetles that we would farm on lower levels. And, uh, kind of had to like take people there. So, you know, everyone had the route remembered to the secret cave then, right? That would be the uh, donut room. Okay, so this is the way to the room with the uh, beetles in it. And this would be all this other way. It was such a fun little spot too. It was all like, ah! Pull too many crawlers! Zone, zone, zone! <laughs> We'd like run into the uh, little area that had the, uh, dang it, strange apparatus, that's what it was called. And then they'd get distracted, it's like, ooh, I'm gonna play with a strange apparatus while we wait to, uh, recover. And they're like, what do you mean recover? We just need to zone back out. I'm like, no man, I'm gonna trade some stuff. I know how to work this thing. I'm like, really, you do? I'm like, dang it, that didn't work. Let me try this. Dang it, that didn't work either. Let me try this. I'm like, come on, man. I'm supposed to get experience points. I'm like, no, 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 I almost got this. Dang it, that wasn't it either. Been there. <laughs> They're like, and the uh, tank's falling asleep, guys. You're like, don't have anything to tank. Wake me up when you need a tank. White mage is all like, <sighs> sorry guys, I got somewhere I need to be. Bye. And they like, or pal. Like, See what you did, man? We had perfect XP, but we had a tank and a healer. And now they're both gone. So you had to go and play with a strange apparatus. I like, almost got it. There, look, see, I got it. And they're like, got this uh, flower pot. Ain't it awesome? I'm like, not really, but cool. <laughs> I'm like reliving uh, Crawler's Nest horror stories. That nah, wasn't necessarily a horror story. The horror stories was before the uh, MPK patch. Get all the uh, crawlers from downstairs and get them all chasing everybody that was upstairs. Uh... And that was all like, dang it. It's going to take forever to clean this out. Well, maybe not forever. But certainly a lot longer than it took to get rid of all the bats in Garlade Citadel. You just get some uh, high level folks showing up and they'll go and kill all those bats and be like, alright. Path is clear. And it's like the guy that tried to MPK everybody. He's like, dang it. I can do it again. I will have my fun. One way or another. Okay, so we are looking for F6. We're at G7 now. 6 is going to be to the north, so up, down, and to the right. Should say this I did quest the uh, crawler's map deal on a dentral and the next uh, character that I was leveling mini den um it's like I'm not gonna get the map for him it's just oh if I do it's gonna be uh more for giggles 
Not necessarily. So this is F6? Yeah, this is it. So it's going to be somewhere in here. Let's look for something shiny on the ground. If I remember correctly, it's in the back of the room? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Click. You are assaulted by an uncanny sensation. Arcane energies begin to course within your veins. We'll wait for it. Wait for it. And mystical warmth welling up inside you. Geo strength, which would make you. Uh, I'm sure the samurais would love this. Maybe warriors too. Warriors probably just want more double attack, right? Do they have a geo double attack? It's probably got something like it. Next one, Obido. Bidao, however you say it. Northwest, top left corner of K8, in the middle of four stone pillars near some brew. Hmm. There's probably only one way to do this. Let's see. Let's find out if I've got the uh, survival guide for Bidao. Teleportation. Original release. I think this was going to be on the first one. Yeah, there we go. And up, up, and away. Sorry, that music still makes me smile. <laughs> and it's raining in Bido. This is my surprise look. Alright, so this is the map. We're going to turn a little bit to the left here. We are looking for K8. It's going to be on the upstairs portion of K8. So there's H. So it's going to be on that other part of the map too. Okay. We're going to be running for a little bit. I say a little bit. It's not too bad. This is one that I've got the path. Pathing memorized. We're going to go ahead and pick up the mute. Vanquish plantoids. I love vanquishing plantoids. Usually in the Boyhada tree, because there's a lot of plantoids in the Boyhada tree. It's like a fire starter's uh, favorite zone. Well, maybe not favorite. It's another good one. Mandy's. Any place that, could call, that has a lot of Mandy's is probably good. Because they're like bean sprouts. Running on down. Still running down. It's like, it's muddy up above. And then they got this ramp that leads underground. I was like, why isn't there like knee-high water down here? Like sewage. You think the turtles would love that? I'm like, yeah. Walking around in the mud. Everybody else like, yeah, gross. So now I can't cast spells for the next nine minutes. Be a good idea to make sure I have a uh, echo drop on me. Uh oh, he not. <laughs> Syndicate always does, but dent not necessary. There we go. There's some echo drops. You need the echo drops. You know, I say need. You get the echo drop so that when you run into this room, you don't get cursed. And getting cursed isn't that bad. You can like cast uh, curse now on yourself if you're not muted, and uh, that will remove the curse. But since I didn't sub white mage, we decided to go get uh, muted instead. But um, I guess technically you don't have to do either. You can do it without the mute, and you can do it without and getting cursed. You're just going to be running really slow because I can deal with the slower attack speed. I can deal with the less hit points. But when I get somewhere I need to be, the Slow movement speed is like the only thing that I'm focused on. I'm like, <sighs> never gonna get out of here. Never, ever, ever, ever. Not at this rate. That's not true. You just take twice as long. In the old days, you didn't know how long your uh, debuffs were gonna last. And they didn't have a little spiffy timers up there. I remember one time I had Curse on me for like half an hour. It was a. Uh, we made it back to town, and they're like, wait, Dan, are you still cursed? I'm like, yeah. They're like, okay. Um, start running towards the Mog House. I'm going to go change jobs, and uh, 
I'll uncurse you. I'm like, that'd be great. And, uh, yeah, I got uncursed. I'm like, yay. Good old days. All right, running up here. I don't think I have to worry about any more mutes and cursed stuffs to get to where we're going. I just need to run a little bit more to the south. For the uh, Magicite missions, I think Bado was probably the hardest part because you needed two notorious monsters murdered to get drops, to get trade those drops, to get items, to open a door, to get a cutscene. Like one was right by the entrance, and if you were lucky, he would sometimes get close enough to the edge that you were able to pull him downstairs to where everybody else was and you could kill him get the drop that way the other guy no no he would never get close enough to the edge so you had to actually go through the uh two uh mute slash curse thingies and then uh find them given if you got a high level friend they'd be able to run through it all and just say hang out by the entrance get ready to uh loot when you need it and uh I had a black mage buddy that uh, saw that I loaded on it and like, alright, I'm going to warp to you home now, but I hadn't realized that uh, not everybody else had already passed on all the stuff, so they worked me out of the zone before uh, I had the actual item. I'm like, wait, he didn't get the item. I'm like, why not? There's that other dude. And, uh, so he's got to come back? He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, no. And they're all yelling at the other guys, like, why didn't you pass? I'm like, why did you cast warp? Why didn't you pass? I mean, uh, actually, I think we did that on my 30th birthday. <laughs> oh, God, that was like 11 years ago. Dang. Oh, wow. I suddenly feel older than I did a second ago. Yeah, that happens. Five minutes left. There are the sheep, so we're getting close. Looking for K8, I think it was. Yep, it was I7. Right now I'm just looking for a bridge. I just passed a bridge. Glad I was looking for it. <laughs> Here's a bridge. It looks like the same color of mud that everything else is in here. Alright, so 8 is going to be south of here, right? K8. So south, and then a little bit more this way, maybe, maybe not. Is there another bridge? There it is. J8. Another bridge. K. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to hop down, aren't I? Well, it said where the brew was, and this is where the brew is, unless... Hold on, we're probably just making this more difficult than it needs to be. Nope. No, we need to go... We need to go back the way we came. I zigged when I should have zagged. Oh, well. There's probably... If I hop down, there's probably a way to get up there. But... Without knowing for sure that there is, I don't want to do that because... You know... I really don't remember this one. <laughs> it was like, I think we came here, but it was like the second half of the video. If I was doing this, you know, my usual stream time, then we'd be approaching that, uh, it's after 11 o'clock at night. Probably approaching, shoot, the way I go is probably closer to midnight. Oh, I just want this to be over. Maybe I can, like, do the other half. I'm like, no, let's try and get it all done in one video. That was the idea have just all the locations all in one bid so somebody else needed to do this do it the same way I do it I don't know if you should do it the same way I do it I'm if you're going to do this and you want to do it the right Final Fantasy 11 way you should do it in order except as you're leveling up carry the spells with you so that when you're at the right level you can go ahead and equip it and then start uh, equip it learn it 
and then start working your way towards the uh, different zones that had the mobs that you need. Because I think they try to keep it balanced with, uh, you know, stuff is that's going to aggro or stuff that you can kill is still going to give experience points roughly around the same level range because this is this was definitely not a zone you wanted to go to when you were like level 30 at least not this part of the zone okay eight is gonna be back this way there's the brew okay here's k8 now we're just looking for something shiny in between the big rocks right here i wonder if you can still learn it even if you're uh Silenced. You are assaulted by an uncanny sensation. Arcane energies begin to course within your veins. Wait for it. Almost hit it too soon. <laughs> A little muscle twitch. And we got Geo Slow. And we're going to go ahead and waste an Echo Drop so we can cast that spell and also cast Warp, so I guess it's not considered a waste. Magic. Geo slow. Okay, I thought I was targeting myself. Obviously, I wasn't. Oh, you have to target a Quaidog because you can't cast it on yourself. Okay. I wonder if this will aggro the boss, the bad guy. Yep. They don't like being slowed. That's what it looks like. It's like rocks and stuff. Falling rocks. I guess we should have slept it first. <laughs> Next, Zerkabard. Above the zone to the Ulgarond range. Okay, that's pretty easy to get to. Just have to wait for the controller to wake up. There we go. Survival guide. Teleportation. Do they have one for the Veron range? I want to say they do. Let's check Chains of Bermathia. Okay, maybe they don't, or maybe Dent just doesn't have it. Definitely next page. Zarkabard. Fucking away. Oh. I have to wonder. In the servers that have the high North American populations. Are the old zones still pretty much empty, except for like new players that are still uh, leveling up to 99 for the first time? I know everybody else is like, once they got all the uh, Limit Break stuff done, it's like, hey, go cleave a bunch of stuff for me. Well, sorta. That could be cool. It's not going to be like the old days where it was like you go into Crawler's Nest on the weekend and there's going to be like 60 players in there all leveling up in different parties. Now, there might be 60 players in there, but they'd all be solo. <laughs> They're trust NPCs. Out. Let's see. So this is the ramp that I want. I'm going to go up here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This music is just too lively for Zarkabard. Just, yeah. Well, I'm not saying that we can't make Zarkabard a lively place. And we got stuff with like demon in the name. Yep. Just, you know, too much fun. Evil Eye. Yeah, like, you need something dark and foreboding. And I think the usual, regular. Zarkabard music is probably a little bit uh, too lively as well. I'll dismount and show you what I'm talking about. That's not that bad. Because the draw distance is so slow, normally you'd be able to see uh, Zarka or Zarkabard. Um, Bailey's Keep from here. I just want to call it Castle Bailey's. Alright, you are assaulted by an uncanny sensation. Arcane energies begin to course within your veins. Wait for it. Feel a mystical warmth welling up inside you. Guess we're not going to get above the 0.5 tonight, are we? Nope. Alright, Geotopor. Probably another spell I can't cast on myself. So, 
let's see if there's any bad guys over here that I can cast it on. Probably. Ooh, like that guy's thunder elemental. Here we go. Dark Knight. Is it Geotopor? Yeah. Well, it did something. Not exactly sure what. <laughs> oh yeah, we can read. Uh, reduces evasion for enemies within area of effect. Okay, so that would come in handy for the mobs that have like evasion boost and stuff like fish. And I guess birds? Some birds have like an evasion boost? Maybe not. Maybe it's bunnies I'm thinking of. Next one, Geoslip, LDM Necropolis. Enter from Atalia Downs. H7, straight south. Alright. So, teleportation assistance. I guess we're going to go to Batalia Downs. Original release. I think you passed it. There it is. Up, up, and away. We're looking for H7. How many more of these we got? Not too many more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten to go. So we're two thirds of the way done. A lot of this is going to start swamp. Well, no, we got a few more in the old areas where we're going to be going to uh, Outer Wind soon. D7 is what we're headed for. I think it's at that? No. H7. So we just need to go straight south from here. Well, once we get clear of this. Large hill, small mountain. No, don't log out. Map. So, okay. I see it. I think I see it. Maybe. <laughs> oh. And for those of you that joined uh, later and you're wondering why I'm not mounted up, so I don't like mounting up in Batalia. That way you get to listen to this music. Cause what's better on Saturday afternoon, sitting here, drinking some nice coffee. Well, I say nice coffee, it's a little burnt. Oh. Listening to Batalia Down music in 2017. It's kind of nice. Should just AFK in this zone, keep the music playing full time. You know, earth weather and ice weather. So you never have to worry about like, thunder or anything like that. I say you don't have to worry about it. Shouldn't have to. So this is G7. That's probably H7 over there. We'll see if this is going to be one of those uh, mounds that will let us enter to get into the uh, necropolis. Some of them are just whatchamacallits. Um, just uh, dead-end rooms. And then some of them have like a, you know, a hole built in so you can continue further on down. I wonder how much time they spent building that stuff up just to honor their dead. Probably spent a lot of time. I mean, you look at the pyramids and you're like, I think they probably spent a lot longer time on that. All right, so this is going to be at J11, and honestly, I don't know if I'm going to come across anything that's going to uh, aggro me. Probably not, but yeah, spooky too. <laughs> this one's too weak. Nothing to worry about. Now we're just looking for J11. 11's going to be to the south. Okay. I think I see where we need to go. This was one of those zones that nobody liked to XP in. I was like, no, not going there. It's like, yeah, but there's nobody there. There's a reason there's nobody there. I'm just going to leave this zone alone. All right. We would come here for skill up parties, which would double as uh, we would need to get uh, coffer keys for like AF quest and that kind of thing. And um, that would be okay, because then you wouldn't have to worry too much about the stuff killing you. And we just double up, uh, skilling up stuff that wasn't capped. Alright. 
You are assaulted by an uncanny sensation. Because that used to be a thing. It's like, you could get up to level 75, level 99 quite a bit faster than a, what the game would let you cap your skills. Unless you were a monk, and then you had no problem keeping hand-to-hand -hand cap. But staff and club, on the other hand, that was probably a little bit more difficult. So I have no idea what Geoslip does. Reduces accuracy for enemies within area of effect. Oh! So that means he can't hit me. Watch him hit me as I warp out. Maybe not. That could come in handy, I suppose. You're trying to, like, evasion tank something? <laughs> Probably not. Next place. Oh, it's going to be in this. Just underneath Sandy. The Ubulite. Dent might have the survival guide for that one. He might not. If not, we'll just walk through the chateau. Original release. There it is. The Ubulite. Up, up, and away. I always thought it was odd to get to the Ubulite. You had to walk through the uh, posh palace of the king. And then go into this downstairs area. And it's like, hey, now you're in the dungeon. Like, yep. And like, now you're in the sewer. Like, yep. You were just in a posh palace a few seconds ago. I was like, yeah, we were. All right, second map near the sewer syrup old area. I-11. So not here. We'll just have to hop down. I'm... Only because... Only because there are some mobs in here that give capacity point bonuses and capacity points, period. I'm gonna get my trust NPCs out just to play it safe. I think we'll be fine, but... Ounce of prevention, you know. Could just use a, what you call it, silent oil. But I also wanted to test out, see if my uh, Taru Taru army would uh, work. Yeah, it looks like they're working just fine. <laughs> Wish there was a way to actually. No, 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 no. I was like, maybe Shantoto 2 would look cool if she was uh, on the ground with everybody else. But now it would be cooler. Everybody else was floating up in the air with her. Mm hmm. That would be creepy. And you see a Pooberoo floating behind you with the glowy eyes, casting cure spells. I could see that. That would be cool. Make it happen, Square Enix. Make it a Pooberoo. Too. And then just, uh, she never runs out of MP. Except when she does. Never have to use Convert. Poor Square Enix. They probably make it like an offensive healer. Where, uh, casting Banish. Banish 2. Banish 17. Banish 17. No, actually, she just kind of Banish 1s over and over. That might be fun. Probably wouldn't be efficient, but it'd probably be fun. This is going to aggro. That I can pretty much guarantee. Get it, Shantoto. Tear it up. I got a staff skill up. Protect spells. I don't think these guys will aggro. Might be embarrassing if they do, but we should be fine. Alright, so we should be headed to uh, the second map now. I think. Yeah, this is the other map that we're looking for. I-11. Uh-oh. Um, there is no I-11. So this isn't the map. Alright. Um, we'll go ahead and use this book, though. We'll do read about individual training. Field support. And we're looking for... Oh, no. Circumspection. This will give us sneak and viz. Near sewer syrup area. Old area. 
There's a lot, a lot of bats here, isn't there? Maybe this is considered a second map. I would think this would be considered the first map. But... Maybe not. Let's find out. There is a spot on I-11. It's a dead-end room. I'm just going to run straight there and then see if that's what we're looking for. If not, there's another spots that we can go. Hopefully I won't linger too long on a trap door. That'd be embarrassing. I'll just have to climb, go back and climb the stairs again. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. I think this... Oh no, this... I can't say this is another zone that we uh, always avoided for XP parties. I remember coming here at certain points, fighting the uh, hounds and the bats. And it was okay. If it was great... Probably just okay. This is H10. So we're getting close to I-11. This is all the stuff that still gives XP now. The slimes will aggro. The ghost will aggro. I don't think the bats will. I don't think they'll link either. And then, okay, so this was it. The second map thing was just all misleading to me. <gasps> oh, no. Now I know what they're talking about. This is the second map. The first map would be the dungeon above us. That makes sense. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn off invisibility because these things only uh, aggro by uh, sound. You are insulted by an uncanny sensation. Arcane energies begin to course within your veins. A little mystical warmth welling up inside you. Point three. Geolangur. Reduces magic evasion for enemies within area of effect. Alright. So they won't dodge your magical spells. Let's see if I can go cast it on one of them. Like you. Do what it looks like. Looks pink, doesn't it? Yep. Oh well. <laughs> Not too bad. All right, next one is going to be in Oh Fein. Oh, I just love Fein basement. Level next to the pool. Use home point number two. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. The uh. Some mobs that will aggro. Well, if we have uh, some silent oils on us, shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully, we have home point number two on dent. Hopefully, we'll do. Let's do. I forget what it was. Paragondi, right? Yeah, there we go. Ian, he does have home point number two. This takes you to the basement, which would be near the uh, proto crystal for the uh, Shiva fight. Actually spent a lot of time in Bayon last week. I guess last month. Alright, so this what we're looking for. These things will aggro. Oh. oh! Never mind, there's a ground stream right here. Don't need to worry about uh, silent oils at all. Read about field support, circumspection, yep. I'm just gonna start running this way. They can't see you, they can't hear you, they can probably smell you. But they don't care about the smell. I don't know if they're... There's probably at least one mob family out there that detects by scent. There's probably quite a few more out there that are just, you know, true sight. Just don't care. Map. Alright, so we just gotta run through a few more of these rooms. And I think all this stuff probably doesn't aggro anymore, right? Yeah, that's too weak. I know these are too weak. No, nope, I was wrong. Spectres are still considered incredibly easy prey. Well, some of them. It's only the best of the best. Could be the weakest of the weak that you can still get XP off of. 
All right, so this should be a pool. We are looking for H5. Underground pool. Dendril, what are you doing in Feyen? Looking for a geomantic reservoir, I think. H5, not there. It was right there the whole time. It was in the corner. Dent didn't check the corner. Oh, well. At least we didn't spend too much time looking for it. Monster Llama! Happy Saturday! Hopefully this thing will not attack me when I start learning this one. Hope for the best. Expect the worst. Gain energies begin to course within your veins. Wait for it. Wait for it. Fill mystical warmth welling up inside you. And we got Geomancy skill up to uh, 290. Paralyzes enemies within area effect. That ought to be cool. Got a whole bunch of stuff trying to hit you. It all just is paralyzed. It's still paralyzed. I guess it makes sense that it's kind of a ice based debuff. Can live with that. Next! Upper Delkfoot's Tower! Floor 12, Northwest. Use the home point number one. That's assuming Dent has home point number one. There's a good chance he doesn't. Home point, not survival guide. <laughs> Travel to another home point. We are looking for keep them. Upper Delkfoot's Tower, home point number one. Yes, please. The bats in here will aggro. There's no getting around that. The pots will aggro if you use magic. Pots. And the giants will aggro if they use uh if they see you, so you just gotta walk behind them. Oh, I could probably dodge most of it. I don't have to worry too much, but let's see if I got any silent oils. I don't dang it. Waiting on the game now. There we go. Um nothing there. View house, mod cake. Wow. Slow game is slow. There we go. Alright. Prism powders. Silent oils. And I might as well put that high re in here because it's not going to do me any good. I'm going to have to go looking for it. Alright, so silent oil first. There are those mean bats. I like to aggro. And let's see, we're looking for... G7. We're at G9, so we just need to go a little bit to the north. Which makes sense, because there's a room just a little bit to the north. Like, I think the Notorious Monster's up? Probably. I'm not going to worry about that, though. G7, G7, G7. I remember one time I was running up here. This is back in the old days. I was uh, trying to get a mission clear for a friend and uh, I forgot that the bats aggroed and the bats aggroed and I was like don't use hundred fist now you need to save your hundred fist for uh, later but shoot I clicked the button too fast I thought the Steffi was a uh... oh well can't blame it on another player I should just have unity chat turned off Geo Vex reduces Mac Magic accuracy for enemies with an area of effect. And it looks like that. And I guess it works, because that spell it just cast? It missed. <laughs> but then the mob ran out of the uh, bubble, so. Alright, that's it for all the old areas. We got Geo Frailty in Kizik Battlegrounds, Wilt. In the Yash Hunting Grounds, Malays, more Mar Basalt Fields, Gravity, Fort de Hanatil, Haste, and Marjami Ravine, and finally Geofade in the more Mar Basalt Fields. So, let's go to Kizik Battlegrounds. And we're going to use a home point for that one too. Travel to another home point. Next page, East Obulka, Kizik, home point. Yes, please. And I know I say Kizik, and that might be right, but I don't think it is. Uh, other people say Sezik. Somebody, I remember one night, they actually looked it up, and uh, this is the correct pronunciation. And I was like, oh, we were both wrong. <laughs> yeah, fun times. 
And because there is stuff that's going to aggro here and link and all that other fun stuff. Let's go ahead and get the trust NPCs out. They will follow me on my uh, trusty mount. I kind of wish they get mounts of their own, but oh well. We're going to be looking for F8, which is going to be not too far away from here, actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not too worried. One more. Mount up and get this out of the way. I wonder if all the folks that got all their Geomancer spells before they allowed us using our uh, mounts and all of these zones are uh, upset. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill this thing. Otherwise, we might end up behind a. Uh, what do you call it? Other place. So let's get some. Let's see. Magic actually paralyzes, reduces magic evasion, reduces, 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 enhances, enhances. Magic attack. Let's make a Shantoto as powerful as possible. And then we're gonna look for an indie spell. Oh. Indie gravity. Produces magic defense. There we go. Indie malaise. Those will make Shantoto quite a bit cooler, right? Not sure how much damage he's doing. Really see the numbers at all, can we? I probably got that filtered out. Looks like it, doesn't it? Maybe it's just popping all the way up there? Not dead yet. Shell Crusher! And Shantoto for the win, of course. Woot! Got 616 limit points out of that. Wow, and I'm being surrounded by purple stuff. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. It's a little creepy. It's a lot creepy. Um, that's okay. We're gonna follow this until we find the turn off to the left. Hopefully, it won't interfere with us learning our next spell. Wouldn't think it would. It might, but again, wouldn't think it would. Mm -hmm. Alright, so it should be coming close. Looking for something shiny on the ground. I think I see it. Nope. Oh, something else. This is F7. We need F8, so just a little bit more to the south. Here's F8. I think we'll try south first. I'll admit, this little, uh, this little canyons, can't say I uh, have them all memorized, because I certainly don't. Hmm. This is G8 now, so we've gone a little bit too far to the east. Let's go back to the west. Just start spamming the uh, tab button until you find uh, what you're looking for. I suppose we can go this way too, can't we? Still on F8. Now we need to go south. There it is. Alright, let's find out if these are lucky bugs aggro. Don't surprise me if they do. Guess they don't. Cool. Next up, salted by an uncanny sensation. Arcane energies begin to course within your veins. Wait for it. Wait for it. Don't screw it up like I did the last two times. Uh, just the last time. The last two. 
Potential geomancy skill raises by 0.2 points. Geo frailty. Which according to this says reduces defense for enemies within area of effect. So this is gonna be that other spell we're gonna be using. A song. Probably. Maybe later today. Let's get the timing working. Wow. See that? Dent did over 500 points of damage with a staff on a non melee job. <laughs> wow. I can get used to this. This seems like fairly standard, too. Wow. I find that, uh,. Indie Fury spell. It'll also raise your attack. Oh, nuts. Wow, that thing was loaded. Kindred, Crest, Shiva, and a Ladybug Wing. You can get used to this. Alright, next. Actually, hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Mount up. Get up. Before you get a. I'm about to get under attack. There we go. Um, next one's gonna be Yosh Hunting Grounds, K7, fastest way to get there. K, okay. probably to the right, but same for the center part. Back the way we came. Oh yeah, for those that have no idea where I went to go get that thing. Let me run back to it real quick. Pull it up on the map. There we go. Right there. Off to the left of the map. I thought it was going to be more towards the center, but it's really just barely in F8. It's more like on the line with uh, E8 and F8, isn't it? But, oh well. Bum, 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 bum. Run this way over here. Ish, maybe? Probably? I'm already lost. East. And then... Oh shit, you're going the wrong way. Go north. Turn around. Turn around! <sighs> thing doesn't steer well. It's like going to bump into everything. It's all floaty. It's like I knew I should have picked the raptor. It was like a nice and stable ride. Although, when you think about it, after watching uh, the whole Jurassic Park movies, would you really want to uh, ride a uh, raptor? Like, you know, the odds are it's just going to turn its neck around and uh, eat you. Like, hey, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat my rider. It's like, and that was it. Game over, man. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Run up here. All right, so now we're just gonna run to Yash Hunting Grounds. The only reason we're doing it this way is because I don't think I have either a survival guide or a home point crystal for the Yash Hunting Grounds. Although I could have probably have picked up the uh, home point crystal for back that way and probably saved us a little bit of time and some zone music. Yeah, probably. No, oh, well, we're almost there. Oh no, we're not. But we're almost. Into the next zone. <laughs> We're gonna make another right, and this should take us into the next zone. There we go. Where's all the trust NPCs are gonna disappear? Can't carry them with you. Makes you wonder if they have like a giant. Uh, Screw this party! Yeah, we're going to this zone. Alright, before we get too far up, let me look again where we need to be going. K7, we're at H10, so I need to go northeast. If I can find K7 on the map. There's the 7. Well, it's going to be really far to the north. And K is going to be, it looks like it's going to be along a beach. Alright, that's no worries. Unless I get stuck in a reeve or two. Hey, look! A reeve or two. <sighs> Trust magic time. And the only reason we're going to fight these is because I'm worried that there might be like a blockaded path. 
and I don't want to be waiting for the timer to wear off where it lets us uh, clear the blockaded path, so it's my story, I'm sticking with it. What was it? Indy Wilt was the last one we learned? No, that's one we're about to learn. Frailty. A I L I T Y. And then Magic Geo Fury. Me. Six. And it's not going to be me on the indie, is it? And actually, I think that might work. One way to find out, right? Run in there, charging the wasp's nest. Attack once. Let's see what kind of spells he likes to cast. Okay, frailty's not gonna work. Not on me. Indie frailty T. Maybe I just had it misspelled. Frail yeah, I have too many eyes in there. Attack that target. There we go. So that'll shoot. <laughs> you still haven't misspelled. <laughs> Yay! We helped increase the uh, colonization rate for the zone. Neat. And we got this green bubble chasing us. Could this be the bubble of frailty. Yes, it is. Still running to the north. Map. Well, I suppose we can go ahead and turn right here in a little bit, but I think we might just go ahead and... Oh, wait. See, this is why I didn't want to skip. Because, uh, yeah. This was going to be here. And hopefully my trust NPCs didn't get stuck. Let's try this again. Can't take that Trizic Green macro out of there, it's just a waste of time. <laughs> copy, paste, copy, paste, delete. Shell Crusher! Stab skill ups. Alright, go Shantoto. Refresh is a uh, with Kogumaru nine MP per tick. Looks like it. Next one should be nine ninety one. Yeah, I can get used to that. Get this knotted root out of the way. Let's try this new macro. Of course, I'm getting attacked from behind. Ability I need to be using. Ability. I think it's a job ability. Full circle, right? Causes your loop on to vanish. That way you can cast like another one. Alright. Job ability. Full circle. Me. Two seconds ought to be enough. Ability weapon skill, weapon skill. Oh, shell pressure. We know that one works. And hopefully somebody can close with it. There we go. I'll take the Shanto to close. Light! One more. Let's try this new and improved macro. Alright. Where's 
the Geo Fury. And the Frailty. There's a lot of MP that way, though. No. Should be fine. Whereas in hindsight, should have gone to Outer Lin, taken one of the uh, warps. It's assuming he has them. There's a good chance he doesn't. Probably should double check to make sure, pick it up along the way. <laughs> but we're almost done. This ought to do it. This here shell crusher along with uh, Miss Shen Toto. Let's see if we're gonna have some fun here. She got it. Dang it. Really? Let's mount up again then. There we go. Yeah, let's go this way. I'm still surrounded by a couple of bubbles. Geomancy cooler and a certain amount of damage resistance. No, that must be from a Koru. Probably Phalanx. Which is fine. I remember the first time I saw a player that was leveling Geomancer and they were running the opposite direction of this big giant bubble around them. I was like, that seems a bit odd, but it's just the way the game works, right? Shouldn't take too long to double check to see if you already have this. Apparently we do. Cool. Hi, Miss Kitty. Kitty's like, it's time to be fed. I'm like, no, it's not. It's only. It's not even 3 o'clock. It's almost time to be fed, though. It used to be one of those things I could count on. It's the uh, cat's uh, timing. It's like better than a clock. It's like, hey! It's 5 a.m. Time to eat. And I'm like, no, you don't get fed till 7. Like, feed me now! And now it's just like, all the time, feed me now! <laughs> like, we just ate an hour ago, feed me again! No! Like, and sometimes she understands no, and other times she just like, fine, I'll just go to sleep. Maybe what she's about to do. Until she changes her mind. Other times she'll be like, I'll just start gnawing on your arm till I get my way. That's, that's a cat thing. Dogs, they're a little bit more passive aggressive. They just like to sit down next to you, stare at you, as they perfect their, uh, that thing they do with their eyes. They try to look as miserable as possible. Like, is it working? You're like, I don't know, he hasn't fed me yet. Well, then try harder. Alright. So, this is case seven. Right? Yep. On the northern beach, near the water, use the station waypoint. So, over here. On the water. There it is. Hopefully, these things don't. They're probably aggro, but hopefully they don't aggro too bad. Hit the mount button now. Targeting the Geomantic Reservoir. The arcane energies begin to course within your veins. Waiting for the blue double exclamation points. A little mystical warmth boiling up inside you. And we got Geo Wilt, which looks a little bit like reduces attack for enemies with an area of effect so they won't hit you as hard you can see that coming in handy especially with some boss fights all right warp button time assuming i don't get interrupted all right we'll do it differently We'll get somebody to uh, tank for me. Hope they get a cure spell. Maybe even a refresh. I was probably expecting too much. 
He was casting blanks. <laughs> and probably not on me. Alright, how many more spells we got left? We got Malaise, Gravity, Haste, and Fade. So four more. So let's go off to a Forte. Nope. More Marbasalt fields for Malaise. Middle of J6, near the Mandragoras, next to a wall. Use Bivouac 1 waypoint. Alright. So let's do Outer Limb. Western by the Auction House, yes. That'll get us next to one of the waypoints. Mm -hmm. And we could cheat and go ahead and get Geo Fade while we're in the Basalt Fields, but we'll try and do it in the correct order. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and change my home point crystal to this one, since we'll probably be coming back here for the next four. Set this as your home point. Yep. This song is so catchy. It can cause people to go insane. Alright, we are looking for more Marble Salt Fields. Bivouac number one. I'm trying to think if I have all the bivouacs. Probably don't. Alright, um, I think we'll be okay. Alright, middle of J6 near the Mandragoras, next to a wall, use Bivouac Waypoint number one, middle of J6. I know where to go. Alright, next to a wall. Exactly where to go for this one. This was one of those ones I think that, um, what would have been? Malaise? Yeah. Not that I remember what malaise does. Let's find out. Just by looking at the uh, indie malaise. There it is. Reduces magic defense for enemies within range, so makes everybody's nukes more nuky. That's not a word. And it kind of sounds silly when I say it, but I kind of like it too. Alright. Geomantic Reservoir. You are assaulted by an uncanny sensation. Gain energies begin to course within your veins. Feel mystical warmth welling up inside you. And just like that, they're in Geo Malaise. Um, only because I don't have anybody to voke off me. We're not going to show what Malaise looks like. We'll probably have plenty of occasions to actually show what the rest of the spells. I suppose I could have casted any malaise on me. That would have probably looked the same, but... Oh well. Next up, Forte Hinatil. Use the station waypoint. Alright. Let's go to Forte Hinatil. Frontier Station. Looks good. Bottom left corner, I-7, next to the water, using the station waypoint. This is also assuming that you have all the station waypoints. It's probably something you should do before you even unlock Geomancer. Get all the station waypoints. I don't even think Dent has everything yet. Yet. I-7, next to the water. Alright. I-J, so to the west. I think I see it. Or I think I see where it's supposed to be. This is I-7. Left corner would be the western corner. Toads! Now you would think toads wouldn't be that dangerous than an enemy in this game. Got some really mean toads in this game though. There it is. Alright, so let's go ahead and dismount. It's like no mobs over here. That's kind of nice. Alright, we're being assaulted by an uncanny sensation. The arcane energies begin to course within your veins. Mystical warmth welling up inside you. Woot, woot. Geogravity! Two more. Next one's going to be Marjami Ravine. Top right corner of J6 near the 
Ergon Locus using the station waypoint. It's going to be a level 97 spell. And haste, I wonder if you could probably cast on yourself. I think you'd be able to cast haste on yourself. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to our dummy ravine. Frontier station is what they said. Yep, station waypoint. And we are going to be looking for top right corner of J6, near the Ergon Locus. All right. We'll mount up and see if we can find where the uh, J6 is. 6 is a little bit to the north of us. J is a little bit to the west. Okay. We're probably going to need trust NPCs. So there's probably going to be some... Uh, barricades to knock down. Probably helps to go in the right direction, too. Actually, there's no guarantee that that would help. Just a gut feeling. We might be lucky. There might have been somebody else that just passed through here a little while ago, went and cleared all the reeves for us. Never know. It's Saturday. Anything could happen. Let's see. It's been a few hours since we first started. Search. Area. All areas. Okay, there's fewer people on the... <laughs> Oh well. Okay, this Reeve is still up, so let's go ahead and dismount. Activate our trust. Not that we really need a tank trust for this one, but ah, it does come in handy. For like some one-on-one -on -one fights. Mm -hmm. Macro, edit, copy, paste. So, we want Geo Malays. SE, and what was that other one? I mean, an indie spell. Use attack, defense, magic accuracy. Looking for magic defense. Use attack speed. Strength, magic attack, dexterity, vitality. There we go. Oh, that's Ben. That's for us, though. So I wonder there's like a indie version. Enhances. That might be what we're getting ready to learn. We'll do indie acumen then. We'll make power up Shantoto. Indie. E C U M E N. Alright. Let's see if this is any better than uh, powering up my. Uh, Super staff. Probably not. But can't hurt, right? I'm gonna do magic. And I got that one. Shoot. Good thing it would put the G there. Alright, mag assist. And we're gonna call this one. Mel assist. M E L. So I can tell the difference between a magical attack and a melee attack. You just think that Shanto would be casting more spells. I'd be wrong. Okay, maybe everything worked. We just need more DPS. Ability, weapon, skill, shell, something. Hopefully Shantoto will decide to hop up in the air. There we go. Now we can cast, like, Stone for T with not the thingy at the end of it. Whoops. Well, that never worked the way I wanted it to. What I probably just did was piss it off even more. Volk, the monolithic boulder. You cannot attack that target. Okay, so you got something wrong with this macro. Full circle move, way to Geo Malays. Probably gonna be Geo Malays. T. Let's try this button again. Okay. 
better and faster. There we go. That's why Full Circle wasn't working. He had never cast the uh, Geo spell. Now we're cooking. Alright, now this Chen is going to be doing a ton of damage. Even our skill chains should technically start doing a ton of damage. Maybe. Just too much to assume that she would have. Had a... There we go. <laughs> Was this one faster? Yeah, I don't think so either. No, well, we had to work out a macro, so. I think that's probably what I'm going to have the hardest time with is which Geo spells do you cast on yourself and which ones do you cast on other items? Or other players? Mm hmm. I mean, it's pretty simple if you just think about the nature of the spell that you're casting. I think that's my only problem is I just don't understand the uh, nature of the spells that I'm casting. Alright, so this is K7. We were looking for J6. So we need to go a little bit more to the left and up. Probably got it on FF Flow Auctions. Probably. Uh oh. I didn't know we were going to need this. It's okay. Shouldn't be the end of the world. Dismount. There is actually a guide on FF Flow Auction House. And from what I looked at it, it looks really well done, too. Like, lots of little spiffy uh images and talking about direction that you need to be casting certain spells for bonuses of this and that and the other and it's like wow okay so k6 we want j6 so we need to be going east no west can't go west right like you can but I'm lost again, aren't I? This is just going to take us more in the wrong direction. Unless there's like a turnaround. This might be the turnaround. Find out. Let's see. Top right corner of J6 near the Urkon Locus. Use the station waypoint. Descend. Let's see where this takes us. Ergon Locust is probably close by to a waterfall, right? Yeah, I think this is right. There's the Ergon Locust. There's a triple question mark, but we are still looking for... So I think this is what you're looking for. Read it again. Top right corner of J6. Top right corner of J6. So we need more in this direction. JK. This is K6. There it is. It's nowhere near, I uh, can't say nowhere near, in the same general area as the Ergon Locust, but alright. Second to last one. You are assaulted by an uncanny sensation. Could be Shantoto's radioactive dragon balls floating around you. The arcane energies begin to course within your veins. And feel a skull warmth welling up inside you. And just like that, you learn Geo Haste and get 0.3 skill ups. Last one. Goodness. <laughs> That's a lot of spells. Oh well. Uh, more Mar Basalt Fields. It's going to be near a hot spring. Take bivouac number four, drop down from the vines, or the long run from bivouac number three. We'll see if we have bivouac number four for more Mar Basalt Fields. Then we'll drop down from the vines. Let's go to more Mar Basalt Fields. Bivouac number four? Yep. I think it's gonna be G8. So we're gonna get the trust NPCs out just to play it safe. Hopefully I didn't. Yeah, shoot. 
No, shoot, not that one. <laughs> All right, so I'm looking for G8. We are already on 8. We are in F8, so I just need to go directly east. I think I see the hot spring, too, that we need to talk about. Not this hot spring, but another one. One that's going to be in that general area. I don't see any vines yet, though. Alright, that's Puru. I didn't see the hot spring yet. I don't think we're going to be able to go north from here. That looks like a dead end, so let's follow this path for a little bit. Oh. No, this is right. I think. G8. Still 8. Oh, I see it too. Okay. Let's go around. There should be a way to walk around here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now we're looking for some vines to... Uh, drop down with. Nothing over there. Or over here. Sometimes wonder if the uh, long walk is the faster way to go. <laughs> Vines usually stick out. There's like this little tuft of uh, stuff popping up, but I'm not seeing it. That's the one, like, seriously the wrong way. Alright, let's go back. I mean, we're approaching bivouac number three. Unless I read it wrong. Take bivouac four and drop down the vines, or long run from bivouac number three. I probably just passed it by not looking at the uh, screen. Suppose it could happen. Can't hop down here, can you? Well, it almost looks like you can slide down there. But you can. No. Nope. Uh, what about over here? That's a, not where you can cross over. This should be getting all turned around a little too easily. Let me guess. Some more vines as well. No, that's it's still a dead end. Right? Can't cross over along here, can you? Okay, that's yeah, I was gonna say, it's like that would be messed up if you could. They went out of their way to make it look like impassable molten rock crevice. Alright, I'll just continue following this wall until you find it. Dang it. This is the last one. <laughs> Everybody else is like, hey, I got it. Done. Yeah, I got all the spells. Time for lunch. No, yeah, I said you were going to follow the wall. So keep following it just to make sure. I'm not seeing it or really anything close to approximating it. Nothing this way. It's already been mounted for five minutes. Or four. Less than a minute. And a, 24 and a half minutes. Approaching a. Let's see. Wasting too much time on this already. 
I don't think I did it this way on Song or Cyndaquil. I just took the old way, but. We go to bivouac number three then? Would that be any faster? It looks like it might actually be a little faster. Alright, so we're doubling back. This is... Hmm. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. Right? Maybe I went to the wrong bivouac. It's possible. Or maybe there were like some vines that were behind me and I was supposed to climb up them, then hop down another spot and... I definitely see the hot water spring that we're supposed to be going to, but oh well. It's gonna be this one, could it? <sighs> Good luck number three it is. More and more basalt fields number three. It's gonna be a long run. <laughs> Although I am determined once we get there find out what binds they were talking about can't tell if that's a ambulance or a uh, police cruiser I think it's an ambulance should be a ramp just a little to the north here and that will take us down Here it is. No. It's not the ramp. But we're really close. Go up here. There's the ramp. <laughs> it's easy to see these things when you're approaching them from below, but when you're approaching it from above, it just looks like another cliff face until you actually peer down and look off to the side and you're like, oh, there it is. Alright, so after this, we need to make a left. We're approaching G8 on the back side. There's the uh, hot water, sorry, hot spring. So now we just need to find a little piece of shiny thingy. Not too much to expect that it would be like right next to it, right? Yeah, there it is. All right, the final geomantic reservoir. This is for geofade, salted by an uncanny sensation. Gain energies begin to course within your veins. Little mystical warmth wind up inside you. Yeah, 0. 0.4. That's probably our highest hit tonight. <laughs> Dang it. No point sixes, definitely no point nines. Let's see what Geofay does. Reduces magic attack for enemies within area of effect. Ooh. Well that could come in handy when fighting um Dang it. Or his name now. That Joker boss from out of actually quite a few magic attacking mobs. I want to find what vines they were talking about, though. I definitely didn't see anything up along there. It's probably to the... Let's check to the north. Not that I have to. I mean, basically this is it. This is over and done with, but there's some scalable area. All right. Climb up it. Yes. Let's see where this puts us. Wait, 14 seconds. Okay, so this is along the area that we couldn't get.
get to earlier unless I'm all afraid to uh, move a muscle so the raptors may get me let's go back south a little bit this will take us towards the uh, area that we were trying to get up from this was the dead end This is also going to be a dead end. Yeah. I'm going to get around that. Geomantic Fount should be like directly underneath here. Yeah, you can see it. It's got to be like further along this way. And then there's probably just another scalable area behind it. Yeah, there's that one. But we couldn't get to this. Okay, I think I see it now. Just didn't go far enough. I was looking on the wrong edge. I should have been looking behind me. Behind me. It sounded like Heine, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that would be a dead end, but I don't think these lizards aggro, so probably okay to run in front of them. And then, after we're on this level, then it should be easy to just find the path that takes you back down. Bivouac number four. Send. Okay. Alright. Mount up. Yeah. Okay. I see it now. It all seems clear. I thought about... You know, maybe you just need to double back and go that other way. But it's like, no. They would have said that in the guide, right? He says drop down from the vines. I'm like, no, climb a ramp first, then drop down. Like, three sets of vines. Ish. Maybe. Maybe not. Watch this not be it. Should be. I mean... Should be. See, you already passed it. So you can't see the ramps when you're on the upper level. <laughs> Unless you're like, come from this angle. And I'm just all hungry now. But, hey, plus side. Now I have all the geomantic spells. I have all the indie spells for Dent. He doesn't have all the, um, how should we say, elemental geomancer spells yet, but there it is. All right. I guess that wasn't that bad. <laughs> so next time, y'all have to do this. Simply follow the uh, back wall from uh, bivouac number four, and you can drop down a whole bunch of vines, and I don't know if that's necessarily any faster, <laughs> but the guide says it was, and the guide was probably written back when, um, you know, before you could use mounts in here. So, woot, time to warp, time to get out of here. Later tonight, I'm gonna see if I can get some, uh, folks out and we'll do some uh, capacity points grinding. Maybe we'll do bats, maybe we'll do some other place. I'd like to get some capacity points in before uh, the uh, campaign starts because it's going to be tough finding a camp. Then be like 20 players in the zone. They all want to do solo. And they want to be standing where you're standing. Funness. Should be fine though. Um, And then tomorrow morning, if I wake up in time, plan on uh, hopping back on the Cyndaquil. We'll do the uh, Sunbreeze Festival, find out all the uh, new stuff that they have. This guy's showing off a lot of skin, ain't he? That's okay. That's Dent. He was my main. I still want to call him my main, but I still take his name. Um, not as gimpy as before. He's still pretty gimpy. Oh well. Um, bip, blah, 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 blah. I was going to say, all that other fun stuff, I'm going to catch it tomorrow, but no, I'm going to try and catch it later tonight. Try. See what happens. Y'all be good. Stay safe. Have fun. Don't get caught, Minnie, if you're watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.